All right, we're good. All right, we're good. Nah, pull clothes on now, so. Damn it! <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to be like, I'm masturbating right now. <laughs> that's what's like that's every session. Yeah, that's gonna throw me. I'm just like, Olivia enters the room, and then all of a sudden we hear, like, heavy breathing on the other side. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, forgot my mic. <laughs> and then mutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Miles isn't here, so we're all together. So we're ready to get started. Alrighty. This is a weird group, eh? I mean... <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a group where someone is missing, but Stallworth is here. So yeah, I guess it's kind of weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, okay. it's just weird that Miles is the one missing. Yeah, that's true. I gotta reassert my place in the pack. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is the episode to do it in Star Wars, so I'm expecting great things. Excellent. <laughs> so, David, do you have another uh, Catholicism story to set a, uh, set us off? Oh shit! Let me have a look. I know we've got a list, so I just want. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, how about the whole link with paganism stuff? Mm -hmm. So, as you are all probably broadly familiar with, uh, Catholics like to pray to saints. Yeah. So, you get sainted, and then you are given patronage as a saint over some aspect of life. Mm. And uh, it turns out this like was a Saint little Jude. Quick. Of a uh, exactly. patron of lost causes. Exactly. The most common one, I think, is Saint Anthony, who is the patron saint of lost things. So basically, you can't find your keys, you pray to Saint Anthony. Less philosophical than Saint Jude. <laughs> yeah. Similar, exactly. but different in a key way. So, thanks to people like Saint Anthony. And uh, this was a little quip from the do some documentary uh, Bill Maher was doing. Uh, there's a survey of like who gets prayed to the most, and Jesus was fifth place. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. After after people like Saint Anthony, like you just you just got more utility there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you know in a comics universe, you know if there's a problem, you don't immediately go to Superman. You know, he's exactly. got other shit. You go for someone like, you know, no one cares about, like Blue Beetle. Like, you know. And if it's in the ocean, you know who to call. Yeah, and if it's in the ocean, you call uh, Ronan from Stargate Atlantis. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad Jason Momoa is in major movies now. <laughs> I'm so happy. That, that was someone's career uh, I didn't think would take off, but then Game of Thrones happened and everyone's career took off. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but he's forever going to be Ronan to me. It's like every time I yeah. see him, I'm like, oh, that's Ronan. <laughs> Ronan from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? No, Stargate Atlantis. Ah, okay. Never watched that. It's played by the guy who's Aquaman... Uh, and also, uh, he was the leader of the Dothraki in, um, Game of Thrones Season 1. Oh, shit. Okay. He's, he's the guy who, cool. Yeah, he's the guy who got yeah, slashed across the chest and died. He is very A lot of interesting, uh, characters there. He's a main, yeah, he's a main, they're all kind of the same character, though. Yeah, yeah. He's the main, one of the main characters in Stargate Atlantis from Season 2 onwards. Yeah, but no one watches that, right? Yeah, uh, exactly watched it. It was off and, and a while ago. Like, for, uh, yeah, because I didn't... That was the last one that I knew. He didn't have anything for years until... Game well, he also did... He was the second Conan from Conan the Barbarian. Oh, oh, I think I have to pick up my dinner. One second. Yeah, I figured. Anyway. And so then uh, he was also... Was Stargate his first? I think Stargate stuff? was his... Was it was first major one. I'm sure he yeah. did other stuff before that. He's also got a Netflix show that I, I, I saw. saw yeah. It's like in the frontier or something like that. Yeah. So essentially, he's Ronan. That's what <laughs> yeah, I thought. Yeah. In like every character he's a... I'm like, well, okay, so it's essentially Ronan. He's That's a... fine. He's an 
action movie hero, you know. That's fine. Just take your shirt off. I'm good with it. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't exactly have a wide range. No, he didn't. And again, just take his shirt off. And Except just... for in his best movie, Twins. Or Kindergarten Cop. Or Twins. <laughs> I was watching, like, a little documentary about, like, the Super Mario Brothers movie, and they were talking about how they wanted uh, Danny DeVito to play Mario. And I'm like, that would be fucking perfect. Why didn't that happen? Mm -hmm. Any movie where you see Danny DeVito stomp on a turtle has got to be a good-ass movie. Fuck. Right? <laughs> they didn't really stomp on turtles in the Mario movie, though. No, I they? know, but if Danny DeVito had been in there, they would have fixed it up for him. Nah, you just, sure. he had the shootout, and then he sucked on that lady's titties. Mario? <laughs> Good times. Hmm. Fucked up thing is I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> Mario movie was weird. That was the other thing they said in the documentaries. People were surprised by how adult it was. <laughs> Did you know um, Miyamoto actually really likes it? I can see that. I mean, it's fucked up because it's famous as one of the worst movies, but much like Godfrey Ho, it's not, it's actually kind of a fun movie if you see it the right way. <laughs> I really liked it when I was a kid. I think everyone did. Um, it didn't, <laughs> you're not gonna like it in the same way when you watch it later. Yeah, but I mean,. It, it's kind of a great movie if it has appeal to, like, both age groups. That's true. I guess it is the best movie ever made. I'm pretty sure the water is a pretty big deal in water worlds. It's just because, alright, they're using boats and not cars. But so, other than that, it's not really important. So swimming through the... It's Mad well, Max on boats. He's, 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 he's a mutation and shit. Wait, was Waterworld the one where they, like, had those, like, little tribal... Like, they had these, uh, pr pretty much tree houses sticking up out of the water yeah. that they lived yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, it's Mod Mox in the ocean. Oh, that shit, man. I saw that when I was a kid. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we heard it. He was about to say, like I love that movie, but then he heard us bad mouth. He was like, mm. <laughs> Oh, no, that shit was, that shit was uh, subpar, even, when, <laughs> even as a child. <laughs> yeah, and, I imagine Child Stallworth now saying this is so part. Yes. <laughs> Child Sub, uh, Stallworth yes. was very erudite. We were sitting around loving the Mario Brothers movie, and he's like, subpar. <laughs> I did enjoy the Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, see, uh, everyone. Hey. Seen the Mario <laughs> oh yeah, you have. Have I? I remember renting it several times, so you must have seen it. It's, you might have be. You might to... be confused because it bears no resemblance to Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, it's got. It's got a uh, Leguizamo, I think, and um, wasn't it Coskins? And they go into an alternate uh, dystopia world. Right. And there's a guy called King Koopa, and he's got, like, weird hair things. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Koopas are lizard men. It's great. Yeah. Alright. We should probably start. Yeah. We've been streaming for how long? <laughs> a while now. <laughs> Is this gonna make it to the final video? Uh, well, I mean, Definitely. Because people right, just want sure, to hear us trash on Waterworld. You're going to get all these troll comments. I love Waterworld. <laughs> They're going to be like, I love Mario Brothers. This <laughs> shit was great. All right. <laughs> what I want to know is, where's the video game adaptation of the movie of Super okay. Mario Brothers? Brothers? They actually did that with Street Fighter. There is Street, Street Fighter the, the movie, movie the game. The game. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> That was, that one's out there. It's great. I'm pretty sure there's another one of those. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> the movie, the game. There's definitely at least one more. The movie, the game. I don't know of any other one, but Street Fighters. Is... 
All right. All righty, let's go. So, um, Switch your slides. yeah, we are starting the night uh, before uh, you guys all went to sleep. So okay. your blood level is going to be representing the next night. Um, so as you are researching your rituals, uh, Lysia, there is a knock on your door. Unless, well, wherever you are, if you're in the library or whatever, okay. she just comes in. And it is the female twin. Oh, it's Lego Batman, the movie, the game. Ah, that's got even the third level, because it's not Batman, the movie, the game. It's Lego Batman, the movie, the game. Because there already was a Lego Batman game. Mm. And then there was a movie about it? And then there was a Lego Batman movie, not necessarily related to the game. So then there was a Lego Batman, the movie, the game. Well, the Lego series was really just... It's amazing that took off the way it did, given how much of a gimmick it was just to get around licensing issues. It's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> all of the Lego games were movies. I mean, they were movies. Yeah. They were the movie, the game. It started off... Well, no, I'm, the Lego movie thing came way afterwards. The Lego games came first. Well, okay, so... But Lego, Indiana, whatever... Uh, yeah, what it was... Movie. Well, yeah, so what it was... It turned into a game. Yeah. I mean, well, what it was was, I mean, it's hard to get the rights to Indiana no, Jones. And it's not. I understand that, but that's what I'm saying. It's the same. Principle. Technically, the legally games... speaking, it's not an adaptation of a movie because it can't be. It's an adaptation of a Lego representation of a movie. So, but the point is, many movies have been made into video games. All right. So, so let's move on. The female twin has entered my space, so I will look up at her. And it's not that the movies have gone into video games, it's video games that have gone to movies that have come back into video games. Yeah. Like Street Fighter. The movie, the game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's not a representation of the movie, it's a representation of a Lego representation <laughs> of the movie. No, it's it was. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's really uptight this evening. He's not getting it. Lysia is getting looking it. questioningly <laughs> at the female twin. All right. So uh, she approaches and says, uh, "This is, you know, a little bit awkward to ask, but uh, you know, I can count on your discretion, of course." wanted to talk about uh, maybe getting a little bit of work done. I see. What were you thinking? Well, I mean, I did draw out some ideas. She puts down a tablet of paper, and it's got a, uh, a stick figure with long hair and then big breasts. <laughs> like sunny yeah, it looks like a dentist okay. drawing. Okay. Uh, I see. And how does your brother feel about this? Um, we talked about it already. Is he uh, going to need, um, seeing as you guys always do things together? Is he also desirous of some modification? No. Hmm. Okay, well, um, when would you like the work done? All right. So that's when we're gonna, that's gonna be like our cool, like, television cutaway okay. before the opening credits. And, uh... <laughs> So it was weird. easy to put on sunglasses. Oh yeah, <laughs> snaps right, so. on like a latex glove. <laughs> and then the cock goes meow. Yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
Go away. All right. So, Jean. Oh God. You are uh, basically hopping into bed, getting ready to go to sleep, hoping that there's not going to be the same thing that you encountered the previous night. Yeah. So as you are, you know, settling in, uh, you hear the door open. Alex, Sam. <clears throat> All right. I say as I reach for uh, your gun. A gun or snow. <laughs> Shit. Do I have a gun of my own? No. I don't. You should pick yeah, one up man. when you guys were buying a bunch of guns. Do I have a melee weapon? I don't. All right. I'll just like kind of. Prepare myself. <laughs> you I'll, try to assume, I'll try to assume some sort of position that could turn into a stance. Alright. <laughs> Gonna do just the on your back, but like hands and feet up sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So this is... Uh, she, uh, a voice from the other end says, is Alex. Hi, Alex. So uh, the female twin comes in and uh, she has a pair of she's holding a pair of blood bags uh, like plasma bags uh, in one hand and then a DVD case in the other what's this <laughs> what's this what's all this then <laughs> she says I thought we might you know Get to know each other a little bit better. I'm down for... What's the movie? What's the movie first? <laughs> Alright. Uh, so she throws it to you. It is uh, Through a Glass Darkly by Ingmar Bergman. What's that? That sounds like artsy. <laughs> oh, uh, look, what's your uh, intelligence plus academics? Sure. Um, five. He is a, a Swedish film director. Um, it is, it's one of the movies from your collection, and you know that's a, a series of art house movies, although you haven't seen this one. Do I know what kind of stuff to expect out of it? Uh, art house. Swedish. Is there, is there like, explicit sex? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you think when you think art house? I'm going to say no. this, David. David. Yeah. It was made in Europe. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> uh, no, it's not It's not to do with that, Mary. It's just the fact that it's one of the twins. Mm -hmm. It's from the well, continent. I was, uh, I was there for that scene where we saw how they like to watch movies, right? Uh, they do have a sizable porno collection, because you pulled a Lost in the Hood off of the shelf. Yeah. No, I mean the fact that they like to watch movies whilst being naked, you know? Oh, yeah. Says David, who's naked playing this Like game when I play these games, yeah. <laughs> that is a sign of a sick mind. Uh, yeah, you know, they, I mean, they like to get naked a lot. It's not necessarily just watching movies. Well, I'll say, I'll, I'll watch a movie if it's just watching a movie. So, uh, she kind of looks at you kind of, uh, sort of incredulous, I guess, would be the emotion. All right, good. She says, uh, what exactly does that mean? All right, your reaction is a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Jean's the weird one. <laughs> as long as it's just a movie, as long as you don't have your way with me, I'm just saying, I wouldn't want that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so, is, so this is the female twin in with John? yeah but the female twin was with me that was earlier oh, okay. so <laughs> have you noticed her breast size is it larger <laughs> um it doesn't seem to be that much larger 
I mean, and I assume I mean, he's I not staring at her breasts. Well, but if she walked in with a boob job, he would notice. No, because Jean isn't interested in other women. Only yeah, okay. Jean is a man. I'm going to edit that out so it's just Jean is not interested in women. <laughs> oh. John is a very loyal married man. Just like Jonathan. No. <laughs> Remember, this is the auntie Jonathan. Right. So he's a happily married man. Now, honestly, even happily married man, men, you're saying happily married men don't, wouldn't notice. I said he's a loyal happily married man. <laughs> The loyal bit is is put there for a reason, Mary. Okay. So she puts in the movie and then uh, slips into a uh, bed next to you. Still clothed. And uh, she <clears throat> offers one of the uh, plasma bags to you and she takes the other one. Sure. Drinks in a movie. And she, you know, cuddles up next to you. I'll sidle away. <laughs> um... She kind of has, like, an arm around you, holding you in place. Showing ownership? Yeah. There's a real display of ownership going on. Okay. <laughs> a display of ownership? <laughs> I mean, someone has the low self-esteem oh, merit, so... I know. I she know. a certain dominance right now? Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> gonna start T-posing at me next, yeah? <laughs> Time for you to start asserting a submissiveness. <laughs> yeah. I would like to attempt to wriggle my arm out. All right. Um, I mean, there's not that much room on the bed. You would risk kind of... She's already moved over enough that you risk going over the other side if you try. All right. All right. So. So I drink the plasma bag. Is that one point? Yep, that is one point. Alright, good to know. So as you guys are sharing drinks, she starts, you know, just kind of making small talk with you. She's like, so, uh, what is it that you do? Or did? Sorry, did you not hear me? No. I said I'm a businessman. Hmm. What kind of business? Selling stuff. Hmm. So what do you do when uh, you're not selling stuff? This, apparently. Hmm. You're not a very good date. <laughs> this is a date? <laughs> that was out of character. Alright. Well, I'm trying to be standoffish, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, did you grow up in Montreal? Allow me to consult the character she <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Any brothers or sisters? Uh hmm. Alright, so he's in his. So I'm in my head right now. Mm hmm. Don't fucking tell her anything. <laughs> uh-huh. But then he's like, she's just gonna find out anyway. It'll only look worse if she figures out after you lied. And then you realize, oh shit, she can probably read my mind and it's already heard all of probably reading this. my mind for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time this all is. Yeah. And then he, and then he answers, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. How, uh, how was growing up in your household? Extremely average. You, uh, you speak French mostly, right? We. Oui. <laughs> hmm. I assume this conversation was happening in French, just... By the way. Uh, por supuesto. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, like, if she stops with her questions, I'll try to turn it on her. All right. So, like, well, what about you and Sam? Uh, 
We uh, have a sibling. <laughs> as in a third? No, as in each other. So, like, how did you guys become vampires? Um, well, we were embraced. Mm hmm. Long ago? Recently? Um, well, I mean, it was like decades ago, I guess. Oh, okay. I see. So you're pretty experienced. Oh, I'm very experienced, Jajan. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what was your sire like? <laughs> um, well, he's dead now. I guess he was always oh, dead. Yeah, but now he's like dead, dead. He's fully dead. Yeah. Were you sad when that happened, or...? Not really. Makes sense. We kind of did it, so less sad. Oh, cool. Probably deserved it, right? She got pause a moment, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real bad guy. Okay, so I'm guessing that he wasn't really. <laughs> She's telling you that he is. Yeah, but the way she says it. <laughs> Alright, here's a question. What does this group do? Like, why are we here? Mm -hmm. Just to suffer. <laughs> is that just... <laughs> <laughs> Every night I can still feel like... No, so I'll I'll be like, yeah, seriously, why is this group a thing? Like, why? Which group is that? The Seven Samurai. Oh, Sean. She kind of strokes the side of your head. We're a family. Yeah, but like, why did anyone start this family? We started a family so that we'd have someone to take care of us. Jean... I know you've had trouble fitting in, but you don't need to be self-conscious or worried because we're all your vampire family. Just think of me like your big sister. Sure. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, Joseph, he's like your brother. San's like your father, I guess. <laughs> Alright. He's sleeping with your sire. True, that is true. That's a good point. How did you figure it out? How? <laughs> uh, figure what out? That he's sleeping with my sire. Oh, it's just, um, Hassan told me. I didn't think he'd be the me. type to brag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he went around and was like, guess what I just did. Interesting. Full of surprises. Yeah, no, he's a talkative guy. Don't you two hang out together? Uh, I mean, he drags me along with missions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you, ever thought, have you ever thought? Have you ever thought that maybe the reason he's dragging you along is because he wants to build a relationship? He was told to. <laughs> Probably because he was told to. Hmm. So she, uh, you know, just quiets down for a bit. Just keeps cuddling next to you. Sure. And uh, eventually, he's like, you know, if you have, if you ever need to talk to someone about your feelings, I've got a lot of people to turn to for that <laughs> now. I appreciate the kindness. But, uh, you know, you've got a lot of people, but are any of them as nice as me? And she smiles at you. 
I'm starting to reconsider that, I guess. You shouldn't talk with Joseph. I'm just going to say that. Gonna... Oh, I figured that out as well, yeah. I don't want to, like, spread rumors or anything, but he's a murderer. And not yeah. like and not... he became a vampire and he doesn't care about people. When he was people, he didn't care about people. Oh, I mean, like, I saw the reservation for myself. Hmm. They tried to kill us just to kill him. Yeah. Messed up. <laughs> what reservation? Oh. Oops. Wow. <laughs> you didn't say that, did you? Well, Stalworth, in character, you won't know this happened, so you can't resent me. <laughs> True. Until he finds out. Oh, I'll be like, uh, the person he killed was from there or something. He killed another one, too? What you mean? Uh, I mean, I don't want to talk about rumors or anything, so. I go on. Uh, well... Sends it to you, little brother. She kind of pinches your cheek. Thanks, sis. Yeah, he's got a body count here, too. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, from what I understand, it wasn't that high before the vampire thing happened. But, I mean, it was at least three. That's folks. The one guy made it. That's fucked. So, you know, I just want you to be careful around him. Did you or Sam have one? Have what? A body count. I really like this movie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> So, after a little while, uh, she also tells you, I had, um, Lesia do a little work for me. Oh, really? What, what, what was that? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I should tell you. Uh, oh god, okay, well, don't... <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you don't have to, it's fine. After a little while, she says, uh, are you still hungry, John? No, I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so. though. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, actually, pretty full. Okay. Thanks for the offer, though. <laughs> All right, so after a little while, you know, the movie ends, and she stretches, and, uh, you know, turns over and starts going to sleep. Oh, hmm. Whatever, face away from her, try to fall asleep. All right, yep. She doesn't molest you in any way. Alright, so now we're going to move over to what was happening to Joseph. Yes, I made it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Joseph, you know, the last body falls to your feet of your victim, and, uh... <laughs> Damn, I killed somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, good. Although the somebody the way, else is telling. I know about telling. your girlfriend now. I'm He's like my psycho. girlfriend. She's a fucking psycho, that's Oops. what. How so? What'd she do? Threatened my wife. That's just that's just womanly banter. Yeah, I want that conversation to happen in character, so yeah. let's wait until okay, tomorrow to do that. that. Sure. <laughs> that's just womanly banter. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh 
uh, yeah, Joseph, you're, uh, you know, getting ready for bed. As you're, you know, tucking yourself into your coffin, uh, you hear the door to your room open up. Who goes there? Uh, so you don't, there's no direct response, but then you feel someone kind of slip into, uh, your coffin beside you. And you can see that it is the male twin. Uh, hello, male twin. <laughs> My name is Sam. I apologize, Sam. <laughs> How are you, Sam? Um, you know, kind of scared. Well, why are you scared? I can't find my sister. Um, where have you looked for her at? Well, I mean, I know where she is, but I can't go there. And, and why can't you go there? She said she wanted to go make love to someone. <clears throat> ah, yes, that would be very rude to go there. So she's fucking Jean right now. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, uh, good for John. Yeah, his wife's really kind of a bitch. Well, I mean, they love each other, so it is what it is. I mean, I guess. I mean, he was cheating on her before he was embraced, too, but... Oh, word? I don't want to talk about rumors or anything. Well... If you say so. Oh, the manipulative twins. <laughs> I like you, though. And he cuddles up next to you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> and, and I just kind of try to lay to myself. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you know, he's like right up there spooning with you. And uh, he whispers in your ear, I won't tell any of them about your secret. Mm, and what uh, what secret is that? You know which one, St. Castine. <laughs> that's, that's not me. <laughs> I know. As far as anyone else asks, I'll tell them the same thing. No, uh, you, don't, you don't understand. Like, that's really not me. I know it's not. <laughs> I get it. Okay, good. By the way, you don't want to seem so desperate when you tell people that because it just makes them think that it actually is you. <sighs> Alright, All right, I'll keep that in mind. It's just a little tip. Speaking of little tips... <laughs> do you want to you know do something else this evening other than sleep nope <laughs> that came very fast <laughs> says, says uh, joseph in a very homophobic voice are you hungry I'm <laughs> uh, hold up. He's got to check whether he likes him or not. <laughs> That's true. Huh. He's got, he didn't have Jonathan do that. What's his vinculum for uh, Sister Twin? I don't know. Well, upon second consideration, yes, I am very hungry. Uh, <laughs> On second consideration. So for this blood bound to how many people now? Oh, thank <laughs> Well, you know what they say, you can't go past ten. <laughs> That's yeah, true. well, you're having sex with uh, Sister Twin. Well, I can help oh, no. that. And then he uh, has a razor which he draws across his wrist, and then he offers it to you. Thank you. I happily drink. Alright. So increase your vinculum rating by one if it can go higher. <laughs> Uh, if only it could. <laughs> Upon further reflection, I guess I am gay. <laughs> yeah. Because hmm. that's kind of, yeah. Because that, yeah, no, he's not. 
So you can take uh, a couple of blood points from him if you wish. I shall. All right. And uh, you guys fall asleep intertwined. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So, Jean. Is it morning yet? Um, no, it's Or seems... night, rather? It seems to be night. Um, you're out, you can hear, like, the sounds of trains in the distance, and you're on, like, what seems to be some sort of railroad track. Oh. Do I feel like I'm in a dream, or do I feel like this is real and I've been brought here? Um, you're not sure. You try and, you know, pinch yourself, and you do kind of feel some pain. But you're not really sure how you got here. Uh, well, I would like to step off the tracks. Alright. Yeah, you're able to get off the tracks. Alright, I look around. Where am I? What is this? Alright, you seem to be in a railway yard of some kind. Uh, and there is a man approaching you. What does the man look like? Without wasting too much time looking at him? He is, uh, very tall and he's wearing a dark suit. And as he gets is closer... Is he emaciated? Uh, no, he is not. Okay. I mean, I guess he's a little emaciated, but... Oh my god, I swear to god, if this was Slenderman again... <laughs> no, you can see, like, hair and things, and you can see a face. I guess this is the same universe, correct? Yeah, it is. So, alright. Slenderman <laughs> goes to Montreal. It's Jonathan. <laughs> it's the great man. <laughs> and, and you are now his prey. Right. Uh, I will feel he myself for weapons. Do I find any? Uh, absolutely not. Wanted to get I will call out. Who are you? Uh, he just kind of motions for you to follow him. Uh, can I have a look at its aura? Um, you cannot. Your aspects doesn't seem to be working. Oh God. Uh. Sure. I'll right. follow. So he takes you into one of the uh, buildings down the railway yard, and once you are inside, uh, he takes you up to uh, what looks to be a small podium, and then turns it around to face you, and you can see that there is a black book on it. Is it a bibble? Um, no, it doesn't look like a Bible, um, although it does have that same sort of width. Um, and there is a, uh, like a, a feather quill and, um, an ink pot right next to it. And the man opens the book, several pages, you can see it's filled with names. And eventually he comes to the end, and he points to a place where your name is printed out, and then there's a space next to it for you to sign your name. I don't get into a contract without knowing the terms and conditions. <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem to be a contract. It's just a big black book. I would I would like to ask what this book is all about. Um, as you're trying to talk, you don't really make any noise. Although you do feel yourself being drawn forward, and by the time you know what's happening, you're now standing directly in front of the book. I will attempt to resist. All right. So, he kind of looks at you quizzically. I will focus all of my willpower on resisting the draw of this book. Alright, so you see the man smile, and he says, uh... Eventually, you'll sign. Your name is written here. I will ignore him. Alright, and give me... Give me a willpower roll. Five. Alright. So as the dream is kind of fading away, you see something just a few spaces above your name that's burned into your mind. You can see printed is the name Saint Castine, and next to it there is a signature. And then, next thing you know, that's the last thing you see, and then you wake up. And the female twin is gone. I see. Well, 
Well, that's interesting. I don't know what. Else, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say a, I'll say a prayer to Saint Jude while every day I wake up from now on. All right. So, Joseph. Yes. Uh, Yamamoto, uh, when you wake up, the male twin is gone, and he calls you, Yamamoto calls you into his office. What can I do for you, sir? Says Joseph. I've been getting reports about you. Uh, what, what kind of reports? I hear you're kind of a pussy. Me? No. How many people have you killed? Out of character, how many people have I killed? Um, well, uh, in-game, I don't think you've actually directly killed anyone. So it's up to you how many are in your backstory. Uh, currently I have killed... I have killed zero people. But I have taken the blame for killing some one person. I see. He kind of looks at you like he doesn't uh, really believe what he's hearing. And he says, well, I'm going to give you a chance to prove that you're not a bitch. Thank you, sir. I am going to uh, put you in charge of a mission. Normally I'd give this sort of... Uh, military operation to Hassan, but I think you've been a little bit too reliant on him. So you What's are, the mission, sir? You are going to lead the other pack members on a acquisition mm -hmm. mission. You are to go to a, su a certain jewelry store, and he gives you a piece of paper with the address on it, and acquire as much as you are <laughs> able from them illicitly. It shall be done. It's important that you do as much financial harm to the institution as possible uh, along with the robbery, so feel free to let out your destructive impulses. I shall. Do not allow any trace of your identities to become known to the authorities or anyone else during the assignment, and do not allow any pack members to die. All right, I can do all this. All right. So, uh, David, you and I are dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all. And I want you to rely on your own authority for this. Don't tell them that I'm ordering them to assist you. If you want to show that you have leadership potential, you need to take the initiative. And you need to make them respect you. Will do. Alright. Good luck. Thank you, sir. And I uh, take my leave. All right, and so he makes a little announcement for everyone else that he he and Hassan have private business and they will not be available for some time. We know what that means. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> nice. All right. This is the final boss for Hassan, eh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> final boss. I, this is the final boss of the main game, but he still has, like, the... <laughs> the challenge mode left to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. If this were a visual novel, this would be the main route, but there's plenty of side routes left. Oh, yeah. And he, he left save games along the way to find them. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. What do you do when you uh, first wake up, Lysia? There were no plans for the day? Not really. Right. So... You know that uh, Joseph was called in to see Yamamoto, but... And, uh... Hassan, and but that's about it. Okay. Well, then I'll go back to the library and putter around a little. 
ask my, talk to my things in my room, no reports of any. No, no one tried to break in. Okay. So. Jean, what are you doing? Jean. John John David No, we're muted because he's probably fighting with some member of his family. Ah. Oh, he went to the bathroom. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gone somewhere because that's just David. Alright. Oh, well, so uh David. start with uh Joseph. Lysia is the first pack member that you can find after you leave after She's getting in the your assignment where she always is Alicia, my my good good friend <laughs> okay <it is. laughs> she looks up at you in mild surprise there's a uh, uh um there is a uh, mission that I would like for you and uh, Jean to uh, accompany me, accompany me, accompany me, me on. <laughs> he seems <laughs> nervous to you. <laughs> I see. And what exactly is the mission? We are going to go to a certain certain business and we're going to uh, do as much damage we can physically to the business and also financially. And the bishop gave you this mission? No, he, <clears throat> he did not uh, tell me to do this. I am doing this as an act of goodwill. That I am committed to this uh, to this group. I see, but have you thought through the possible consequences of a disrupting business within our neighborhood? I have, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the the uh, benefits of uh, attacking this business outweigh the consequences. And also, we will not get caught by any uh, authorities, so we uh, don't have to worry about that. I am not so concerned about us being caught. It's just if we terrorize our own neighborhood, there could be... Difficult. This is generally why we have the hierarchy, Joseph, within the Sabbat, is if, you know, without this being approved by the bishop, I don't... I will say, um, if he shows you the address, it's not really in your guys' territory. It seems to be in someone else in another part of the city. But are we going to cause harm to another pack? Or, see, this is why, unless this has been vetted by the higher-ups, I really don't feel that it would be wise for us there may be unintended con consequences. Lisa, I understand. I understand <laughs> how you feel. I understand that the bureaucracy is here for a reason. <laughs> but this mission is for the good of all of us. And what exactly we need... are the benefits to all of us, Joseph? We will become closer as a pack. <laughs> It is a team building exercise. <laughs> <laughs> and also, also, I know it will please our uh, dear Sir Yamamoto. Uh, we get some yeah. jewels. Exactly. Oh. We know how he loves his assets. We can all, we can all share this victory. I know how he loves Hassan's assets. Mm, yeah, that's <laughs> what she's thinking in her head. Well, I suppose, I suppose it would be a good team building exercise. All right, you can count me in. And by the Excellent. way, your purview does include the two twins as well. If you wish to invite them along. 
Yes, um, on a completely unrelated note, uh, how does someone that's like blood bound to someone, uh, how do they usually talk to them? Um, usually, well, you've got kind of a shared blood bond, but basically it is just like absolute love. You can't think about, uh, trying to betray them or anything like that. Um, and, uh. They can Always get taking things in the best light possible. Yeah, and they can be. Um, it's possible to end up being kind of obsessive about them as well. So I can't lie to them. Um, it would be very hard to, unless right. um you have some reason to believe that it won't harm him or like it would be beneficial. Beneficial. Them. Yeah, I mean you don't have to be honest any more than you would in say like a romantic relationship, obviously. But if it's going to come back to bite you, probably. Yeah. Alright, let's do this then. And if for some reason you have, like, conflicting, uh, vinculum ratings, um, then usually the, uh, higher one, uh, supersedes the lower one, but um, you can also do a, a willpower roll-off to determine if you want to handle it that way. Alright. You well. basically roll willpower with, like, each of their difficulties and see which one gets the most successes. The difficulty is based on the vinculum rating. Alright. Well, let's go, uh, let's go, uh, talk to, uh, John. <laughs> Alright. So, John, what did you do once you got up? Pray to St. Jude. Alright. So you find him in his room praying. Hello, John. Ah! ah! <laughs> oh, um, hey. It's that what? murderer. Yeah, seriously. How are you, friend? It's that adulterer. <laughs> I'm, uh... All right. Why? By the well, way, uh, you guys haven't actually discussed the the girlfriend thing in character yet at this point. Nope. I'll just point that out. I, right. I don't think. Well, so um, uh, what Stallworth told us about his girlfriend and how the murder thing worked out, though, he didn't tell me that in character, though, did he? Um. He didn't claim that his wife was responsible for the murder, no. Yeah, so, I mean... So you think he is a murderer? For all I know, yeah, then, jo Joseph is still... I mean, like, Joseph is a fucking murderer, anyway. <laughs> but for all I know, Joseph is a pre-vampire murderer, so I just, you know, I don't like the guy, and I don't want to talk with him about anything. <laughs> about how his wife <laughs> is also a murderer? So he just yeah, keeps seriously, praying. like... Hey, guy, I'm I'm afraid of now. I don't like your partner. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather just like not say that. So All right. yeah, cool. So he said nothing. Yes, John. I I have a mission for uh, for our group. Oh, oh God! What did Yamamoto give us another job? No, no. This is something that I uh, I thought up my uh, myself. Something that we can all benefit from. Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joseph, I mean, like, you know what happened last time we both went out on our own volition. Did, um... John! <laughs> Did Lysia go with you into this conversation, or...? Uh, I was not planning to. I okay. probably was waiting for him to... So, uh, so, you cut out there, so are you there, Lysia? No, I, she had no intention of following Joseph around, so... Alright, sure. John, we got off on a, on a bad foot. I'm... Me and my... Uh, me and my girl, we're, we're really good people. Just, we... I, I just need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you, John. We all make mistakes. You know, when I was when I was younger, I I made some mistakes. She also made some mistakes. Okay. But um, I mean, look, 
Sure, but what, why do you want to do extra jobs, man? Come on. <laughs> well, I want to do the extra job because I feel like I've really gotten off on a wrong foot with this entire group. And uh, I would really like to uh, show Yamamoto that we can all function together and they're all that we can all work together. And by um, we can show that by going and retrieving some assets from a certain business. A business that you is not... to rob a place? Yes. Not, 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 oh, not just rob. <laughs> not oh. just rob. <laughs> Come on, why? No, come on. Why'd you gotta do that without even being told? What is, uh, by the way, what is your humanity rating, Jean? My? My. Uh, Jean. <laughs> we know you're fine, I'm <laughs> Mine's only five as well. Um, five, I think you're okay on robbery. I'm really not. <laughs> no, I know you're scared yeah. about it. Obviously, I'm just saying that humanity-wise, humanity -wise, just so you how know. How would it. I roll? Or, yeah, well, how would I? How would I role play if I intended to increase that humanity? Um, just start playing it as though you were at a higher humanity level, but yeah. it doesn't really right. necessarily fit in. You don't necessarily. You wouldn't feel bad about it, but you're trying to I, make I, yourself I, I, feel I bad. I understand intellectually that I should feel bad yes. about it. No. <laughs> after after the pause, after the pause of thinking. Oh, no. We can't do that. John. John. All I ask is that you trust me in doing this. Lesia has trusted me in doing this. It's not about trusting you. I just don't want to do that. John. <laughs> We all have to do things in this group that we may or may not want to do. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. I assume you're pulling the shadows around you and making them darken as you say that. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't trust me if I did that. Uh -huh. I really don't. Listen, you can go. I just... I'm not going. John, this... <laughs> This isn't one of those situations. <laughs> what do you like, mean? We, we, we need you on this. We need your expertise. What would you possibly need me for? All I'll do is hold you back. John, you don't know how great you truly are. <laughs> Deep down inside. Why are you doing this? Just go with Lysia. You'll be fine. If we, if we hadn't have brought you along... When going to the reservation, we would have never made it out of there. Yeah, your quick thinking got us out of there. I can't wait till he throws Lizzie under the bus. What? I, I mean, mean, somebody's got my back. We you, can't just trust needed, an, you just needed anyone who could drive a car. It would have been literally you on your own if I didn't go with you. It didn't have to be me. Exactly. Are you being there helped? Yeah, so you, you can drive the car again. Being there. Exactly. Being there would have Listen, we don't, I, hey. just, I just, I would rather not take part in a robbery that you don't even have to do it. You just want to do. I mean, come on. Out of, out just, of as you're saying this, yes. out of the shadows, uh, the male twin uh, suddenly steps forward from obfuscate. Say, please, you, you should, you should, you should, you should uh, hello, male twin, Sam. <laughs> kind of looks up at you and like I'm Alex Sam's what? my sister what they switch names oh okay memory when they switch personalities uh you don't know I have to figure that out he comes up to you and he puts his arms around you Jean and he says Jean, I think we need you. I really don't. Yes, but it doesn't matter what you think. Because I think we need you, and Joseph? Yes? What do you think? I, I think we need him also. That means we've outvoted you. Is there... 
a voting system when this is an unofficial thing? <laughs> there is. We just did it and majority ruled. I really disagree with your your method. <laughs> it's okay. They are correct. I think they're correct. Joseph? Joseph? I also agree they are they are, they are correct. The system Mate. has validated itself. Mate. It's a perfect circle with no like loose ends. My, I'd like to validate myself right now and say no. <laughs> I don't want you to validate yourself, Joseph. I do. <laughs> May I attempt to break free from his law? Right, can Lysia go around looking for these guys? Because it's taking yeah. so freaking long. Eventually, Lysia comes into the room and you find him being hugged and trying to resist it while Joseph is standing over him. So, are we ready to go? Do we have everybody, Joseph? I look down at Jean and said, Yes, we do have everyone. Right. No. Right. No. <laughs> no. You guys can go. You don't need me. Alicia comes over and looks in your eyes. Jean, I don't look us. her in the eye. You are coming with us. Let's go. Now, we don't have all night. And I turn I mean, to check out the car. Alright. I'm just all right. gonna I'm just gonna keep arguing unless someone physically forces me to go. Uh, <laughs> okay, um I'm, I'm just gonna pick him up and take him then. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I attempt to break free. What's your strength? Tree. My. What's yours, Joseph? Uh, five, and I also have a specialty in two potents. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you're uh, you're coming with him. <laughs> you are essentially picked up, flung over the shoulder, and walking down the hall. Oh, and... That's leadership skills. Still, I like that. Uh, and before you, you. Uh, left his office, uh, Yamamoto gave you a, a key to um, the Jeep that you guys were driving around before when uh, you were getting the bodies for the Blood Feast. Alright, well, who has the uh, best drive? Probably Jean. <laughs> oh, this'll be good. I, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at driving. Like, what do you have? What do you? I got. I have one drive. Well, you, you know, it, it's fine. I, I have three drives. So someone just hold John while I drive. All right. All right. Well, yeah. So between, is, I'm assuming the male twin is coming with us. Uh, yeah, and so is uh, yeah. Okay, so the... Sam comes with you too. They both sit next to uh, Jean in the back. You and I. To either the, side. You and I will be the, in the front there. I, uh, before we leave, I make sure we uh, bring along um, masks and uh, make sure that we're dressed in a very uh, inconspicuous way. So, uh, as a player, might I suggest bringing the weapons? You know, the guns? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what guns are you going to bring? Uh... Uh, do I, uh, as a, as the, as the, um, player, do I know what kind, what type of guns they usually use? Uh, for, like, armed robberies? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're familiar with them by now, so... Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> I'll dole out the, uh, I'll dole out the weapons, uh, All right. to the, to the group. So, yeah, you get out, um, some ARs and then some shotguns for everyone. And I, uh, I diligently explain... The, uh, the plan, um, we're gonna go in, we're going to rob them, but we're also going to try to destroy or steal as much as we can. We're trying to financially ruin them while robbing them. Is this some place you hated before you became yeah, a vampire or something? This, this does seem to be, this does seem to be rather personal. Um, guy, you know, guys, can I just suggest maybe he's compromising the team with a personal van vendetta here? This is not a personal vendetta. Simply... What's up with that weird side objective? That weird side objective. <laughs> it's a side quest. It's, uh, it's simply to make the uh, robbery look more legit. 
That makes no sense. <laughs> it's pretty legit. <laughs> it's robbery, isn't it? But I, I assume he means... An armed like, robbery to, is an armed robbery, throw, Bob. To throw the blame on some other... The, the male twin's like, yeah, I get it. That way they'll think it's just uh, some group of, like, maniacs. They won't suspect us. Exactly. Alex. Sam. Alex. And he shoots you a dirty look. We need to come up with, with like, a one word of, uh, um, an alum. <laughs> it's gonna be alum. There's Sam and Alex together, because they're a couple. <laughs> 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 I um I ex <laughs> I go ahead and explain um the time limit for us being there. Uh do I do I know how long it usually takes police to get to a uh crime scene? Um again, you know, armed robberies, you're pretty familiar with them from your your background before all this. So, yeah, you would, uh, You would know that uh probably you're going to be in one of the more upscale parts of town so you don't necessarily have that much time. It depends on whether or not like when they set off the alarm. They're probably going to set off the alarm at some point. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to keep them away from the sound alarm for long enough, then you get more and more time. Um they're probably going to respond within, you know, a few minutes. Yeah. If it's a nice part of town. A few minutes, yeah. So you're going to want to Basically, get in there, get your stuff, and then get out. All right. <clears throat> Let me think for one second. All right. You want to divvy us up with uh, with various jobs? Because I'm not going to take any firearms, but like I can grow claws and, and rip things to shreds. Do I? What kind of place are we robbing? Uh, it is a jewelry store. Okay. Um, are your claws strong enough to possibly rip through a safe? I probably not. Mm. Would the safe be portable? Well, not portable, but would I be strong enough to carry any small safes they might have? Um, you would be, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, John, what what are you good at? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> John, you're gonna have to do this anyway. You might as well he's, get some of the credit. He's the computer geek, so he would bypass the alarm or something, couldn't he? That's a good idea. John, we got we got a job for you. I'm really not good at that sort of stuff. That's like a different specialty. Okay, John, we're going to give you the job. And if you don't do it, well, I'm sorry. There might be some bad consequences for you if you don't do it. If we get caught because of you. Like you're threatening me. Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just telling you the truth right now. <laughs> so if I ruin this completely needless job that you just felt like doing, I'm the bad guy. Yes. All right. Glad we're on the same page. All right, now that we've got uh, John's job out of the way, what what can we have the uh, the twins and Alessia do? Well, Alessia, you can probably destroy the containers I that the. Uh, I, can, I can destroy the, if, if that is your objective to destroy. I can do that quite well. The twins may need to carry out the jewelry and help you actually rob the place. Yes, that's that's a good idea. Um, the twins will, whatever containers you destroy, the twins will, um, then transport the jewelry into the, uh, into the vehicle, and I'll also help them, and when we're starting to run low on time, I'll go pick up a safe, uh, well, picking up the safe and driving with it make it too hard to actually drive. Um, I'm assuming you'd put it in, like, the back of the Jeep, Yeah, it'd right? be heavy, it would yeah. affect the handling, probably, but it wouldn't make it impossible. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, yeah, I'll pick up um, the safe, and then we'll uh, we'll depart. All right. And as he's discussing the plan, uh, the rest of you notice that he gets a text message, and the text message uh, you can see is from Yamamoto. It gives you another address, and it says, "Get rid of the vehicle once you're finished. Uh, drop off the jewels here." All right. Well. I, uh, everyone saw, like, did, did, the, did the text just come to me? Uh, yeah, it just came to you. 
Uh, yes. But did everyone see that Yamamoto texted me? Nope. It. Uh, they just saw that you got a text message, and then you checked it, and then you can put your phone away, and no one could see what it actually was. Okay. All right. Well. Mary, you can ask Oscar rely. Hmm? Oh, I just people get text messages, so you would have to ask. Yeah. All right. Fair. I won't ask that. All right. Well. In that case, I'll put my phone away, finish, uh, finish, uh, getting ready, um, getting us all ready for the, uh, for the robbery, and, uh, as we hop in the vehicle and start driving away, I tell them, um, I tell them this is, a, uh, the address, this is where we're going to get rid of the vehicle after we drop off the jewels. You've already arranged a fence as well. Out of character, uh... Are we supposed to drop off the jewels at the house or to a um, fence? Uh, you said to drop it off at this location. You don't know where that location is, although it's in kind of a seedier side of town. Uh, for now, it's just a location to... Uh, it's, just, it's just a location that we're going to drop it off at. Um, it's, a, it's a safe place. Uh, you can take my word for that. We, we, will, like, we will want to uh, get the... Uh, let Yamamoto know beforehand... Um, before we actually do anything with the jewels. Mm -hmm. The male twin is almost bouncing the seas. Like, this is so much fun! <laughs> yes, Alex. Very fun. Alright. So you guys start approaching the jewelry store. Kind of do a quick go around the block you can see it it looks like it is in the process of closing up for the evening okay all right um before we go in i uh let everyone know once again how much time we uh we have um i give them like a i give them like a minimum time just in case uh john doesn't you know do his job very well. But we have complete faith in you, though, John. <laughs> I don't. Low self-esteem. You can if I, self if I were you, I wouldn't rely on me. You should probably assume I won't, it won't work. Can I, uh... Can I, can I dominate John and give him confidence? Uh, no, uh, you can't get rid of low self-esteem with dominate, unfortunately. It's all unfortunate. The hands now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> all right, let's do this. All right. So the male twin, he has like a little watch, and he sets it with the time that you guys are going to be in there, and sets the timer running. All right. Let's do this. Is everybody? Is it closed up? Is everybody gone? Uh, they are in the process of closing up. Although, um, you probably don't want to wait for them to be fully closed up because otherwise everything is going to be put into. The big vault that you guys oh, don't necessarily have a way to bypass. So, I see. Oh, they're putting it away. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. It is closed, but there are still people in there closing. Because the people are just going to trip the silent alarm. So yeah. I thought we were actually breaking in. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Alright. This was not how it was originally presented to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going. It seems like he came up with this idea real quick, and then so, Joseph's just going with it. The question now is, since there's people in there, can we kill him? I would like you to, uh... No. Don't <laughs> kill him. But, but, but... If you see if you see that one is trying to uh, escape or uh, alert the authorities, then I'll leave that, um... Wait, 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 wait. Did he say not to kill people? <laughs> no, he never gave you that instruction. Okay, well, in that case, um, I do. I would. I would like you to not kill anybody. But if someone tries to escape or alert the authorities, then I will. I want you to use the appropriate amount of force to prevent that from happening. Alex is getting his gun raised. Like, put him the fuck in the ground. Got it, boss. No, that, I mean, no, Alex. Witnesses. How are they? How are they, I mean, there's going to be witnesses. There's going to be 
that one of them could who's watching the people so that they don't trip the silent along themselves well you know hold, hold on let, hold up my um up 10 operation how how much can i do with that um what's your level uh one um you can put out like small lights you can make shadows look spooky yeah hmm so i couldn't make the like entire store just go pitch black uh, no, I think that would be level four. Damn it. Could we cut the power in some other way? You could cut the power. Then their silent alarm couldn't go through. Very true. Well, we can, um, we can send one of the twins to cut the power, and when the power goes out, that's when we, that's when we would know it's time to get in there and get shit done. How about, um, you know, as an escape, how about I just keep the car running out here? I don't know, man. You, you gonna drive off? Come on. How is he gonna be taking care of the computer from inside the car? Oh, is there a computer? What, well, like, well what he's supposed to be disabling guys? the electronic security, right? right. What, what is this magic power? computer you guys are thinking of? <laughs> So, do you think so, every place just has a mainframe? Like... <laughs> so, uh, so they do, maybe yeah. If, if if we cut the power, though, that it's true. That accomplishes yep. the same purpose. Since That's Sean a very really good point. He's man enough to do it. Yeah, I really don't. So put John in charge of uh, turning off the power. That's Alex's suggestion. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, Alex wants to put John in charge of the car? The power. Of the power. Have, have oh. John go around and cut the power. And that's oh, a, that's a... Go in and, and do what we need to do. That is a I great know. idea. I don't know anything about electronic engineering, guys. I really don't. He's think. a computer guy. He knows all about electricity. Alex slaps no, you on I'm the back. I'm more of a software guy than a hardware guy, though. Well, just break it. I mean, is it I mean, is it like um is the electronics for it like the type of electronics you have for a house? Yeah, there could be a meter. Oh, okay. Well, shit. In that case, just go flip all that shit down or up or left or right or whatever it is. <laughs> flip it the opposite direction. <laughs> down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. And then the fuse blows. And then you get uh, infinite lives or something. Is that the Konami? You code? get thirty lives. Uh, that's it, that's it, yeah. I think you'll be able to handle it, John. I right. don't. Do you, have, do, do you have some sort of metal thing, like a screwdriver? Do I? Alright. No, not on your person, unless you have it for some reason. Is there one in the Jeep? I don't. Uh, he looks around, and yeah, you find one in the Jeep. So, oh, Alex okay. hands the screwdriver over you. He's like, just jam this in there. That'll break it. Whoa, whoa, J John, yeah. Make sure you have something rubber on your hand. That's a good point. Our plan was dangerous. <laughs> he looks around, and then in the back he finds, he opens up the same toolbox he got that out of, and he pulls out a pair of, like, old work gloves, and he hands them over to you. He says, these are probably insulated. Probably? Definitely. Alright, that's better. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. I put a hand on John's shoulder and I tell him, hey, really appreciate what you're about to do for us, man. No, you don't. <laughs> you're, you're a real asset to the team. You literally strong-armed me into this. You will get Please an get equal share of glory. glory. All right. Remember All right. the time I was the only reason you weren't killed? Yes, I do. Guys? Yes. Uh, well, I don't think you do. <laughs> I, I thank you for that also. Just go. Alright, so there are... You guys brought masks, right? Indeed. Alright, so masks on hand. You've got one of Richard Nixon, which uh, the male twin immediately takes. Makes sense. Uh, you've got one. Uh, it's like a chicken mask. And then you've got a pig mask. Um, besides that, you've got one of uh, Gorbachev. And then you've got one of Ronald Reagan. It seems to be a mix of animals and world leaders that you guys just grab them at random. Uh -huh. okay. Well, I'll put on the pig mask. 
All right. I got Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Conservative uh, Joseph. Uh -huh. I wanted Ronald Reagan. Uh, you're in the back with the... Oh, I guess you can get a mask, too. No, you've got the chicken. I don't need a mask. Yeah. You've got chicken or Gorbachev. Oh, I'll take Gorby. All right. <clears throat> and then, uh, all right, and then the female twin takes the last one. Actually, you know what? I'll ask her which one does she want, the chicken or Gorbachev. Um, I mean, whichever one you don't want. You sure you don't have a preference? No. Do you want this one? Do you want this one? Sure, I'll take that one then. Okay. And then she switch masks with you. Alright. Just in case. <laughs> Maybe she'll turn back into Alex and be like, Hey, I wanted that other mask, you dickhead. Or he's like, Why'd you take my mask, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Alright, boys. Let's get the show on the road. Alright. So you guys head out. Uh, you guys are waiting kind of in the front for this. And, John, you go around the back with your screwdriver and gloves. <laughs> And uh, give me a perception plus investigation. That is a uh, seven. Specialty. All right, you look around for a little while, and eventually you do find like the power meter here in the alley around back of the shop. So. If I wanted to not do this, <laughs> yeah, would it require a willpower roll to resist the vinculum? Uh, yes, definitely. All right. Well, I really don't think uh, it would go down well if I didn't. <laughs> mm hmm. But I really don't want to either. Mm hmm. He's conflicted. He is conflicted. Very conflicted. That's good. <laughs> good leadership, Justin. Good leadership. He he oh, still got some he still got some good in him. That's good. <laughs> I like to see it when I crush it. <laughs> I wanna see the <laughs> light go out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds more that sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, I better do it. All right. See you again, James. So, screwdriver in. Well, is there crisis. Any way I should... That sounds like a good movie title, "Crisis in the Alley." Is there any way I can be more careful than just like manhandling it, just in case the glove really isn't insulated? Uh, yeah. Give me an intelligence plus a uh, technology. Three. Um, yeah, you could actually, looking on there, <laughs> there are ways to adjust it where you could just turn off the power. You don't need to just jam a screwdriver into it. I will adjust the power then. Alright. So, you guys, as you guys are waiting for the uh, power to go out, uh, Alex turns to you guys, those, those gloves aren't insulated. <laughs> And then uh, the power, he goes, and all the lights go off. We didn't hear a scream. No, you didn't hear anything like that. Apparently well, hopefully left. John's okay. He's probably okay. Well, I was say, if we didn't hear a scream, he, he found a workaround. Or it killed him instantly. And it doesn't kill you instantly. <laughs> kind of like all us, right. right? And then he hops out of the car with his uh, rifle. Alrighty. So, yep, yeah, let's go. Got my claws out. Let's do it. We know the plan. So we bust in. Alright, so I assume uh, Joseph is the one busting down the door with his five strength and two potents. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so the door just basically goes flying open as you kick it open. And there are uh, people inside, like employees, that are in the process of putting jewels away. And then they see you and uh, one of the people starts to run towards uh, the counter. I, uh... What do you do? 
<laughs> we got started a thought there with I. Uh, said, oh, said, oh. oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, can I get there quicker than them? Um, actually, like running there, probably not. Okay, well, I'm going to aim. Um, I'm going to aim further in front of them than where they're running. You know, not not so I can hit them, but just so I can. So you can lead the shot. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a warning shot across the bat, right? Just yeah, just to scare them so they won't actually keep going. You know, I assume this person doesn't love their job so much that they'll take a few bullets for it. All right. So give me a dexterity plus firearms. Uh, that'll be eight. All right. Yeah, so you do a shot right in front of him, and he immediately stops and puts his hands up. Uh, Jean, you hear uh, a gunshot inside as you're standing out there, walking back oh, around. Uh, can I just head to the car and keep it running? Uh, yeah, you can head to the car. I'll just do that. All right. All right. Well, um, after I stop the person... I will say in a very commanding voice, uh, we're not here for your lives. We are here for these jewels. Do not try to run. Keep your heads down. And employees, give us the jewels. We will not hurt you. And then the male twin screams out, Move and I will blow you the fuck away! And I turn around and I look at... Uh, Alex, I'll say, please calm yourself. This is not helping. <laughs> Lizzie just goes around and starts destroying anything. Just starts, like, yeah. slashing up just, the place. Because I am, that is my job. So I am just slashing and, and jumping around. All right. And, and I look at things. the, uh, I look at the twins. I tell them to follow after Alicia and gather up any jewels from any display case or anything she breaks and, uh, transport them outside. And then I go look for the manager. I, uh, dominate him. Okay. into uh, opening any uh, safes. All right. So give me... Uh, you eventually find the manager cowering in his office. Give me a manipulation plus leadership. That would be six. Right. Yeah, he starts uh, opening up. He gives you uh, a set of keys for the uh, stuff out in the main area, and he starts opening up safes and things. Basically anything he can think of. Uh, right, I'm begin also transporting these uh, jewels out to the uh, to the vehicle. Uh, give me a perception plus alertness. That's three. You don't see anything. They all huddled in a group, or they spread they're, out. They're uh, well, uh, unless you put them in a specific place, well, then they're going to huddle in a group. I was going to say I want them all huddled in. A over in a corner away from wherever. All right. Okay. All right. As the uh, as we get, uh, do I have the keys to the um to the actual like rooms in the store? Um, you've got keys for the uh like the cabinets and things. None the of the display cases that I am destroying. None of the rooms are uh, really locked. Uh, there is like the vault, but that's on a time lock. So. But isn't it All right. Because they were putting things in there. Um, it is open right now, yeah. Is there a room, like, a room that just has a door that I might be able to, uh, shove something in from to block? Yeah, you could do that. If you want to set up a barricade situation for when the cops show up. Oh, no, it was more <laughs> like, uh, when we leave, I was planning on, um... Putting them in there? Putting the... Yeah, Got yeah. It. I mean, you could and do then that... pretty much destroying the place. You could do that with a vault, because once it's closed, it'll lock... And they won't, like, die in there? Ah, uh, no. Nah. They'll be in there until it opens up the next morning, so... Hopefully there's enough air. All right, there's well... probably enough air. Actually, I think they have to make them with, like, ventilation just in case someone gets locked in there. All right. Well, in that case, then, uh... Then, uh, when we, uh... Get most of the jewels... Like, how... What's our time looking like? Um, you guys are... Getting a lot of the jewels out of there. Your time is still okay at this point, but if you want to start multitasking and getting them moved, you could do that. 
Yeah, um, I'll start uh, multitasking, getting them moved. Um, and when they're when I have uh, all of them in there, and I, I'll tell them that they'll be safe. Um, that the police will arrive in the um in the morning to uh, get them out. And uh, just to not do anything, don't do anything stupid. Okay. So yeah, as you are basically giving them the explanation, uh, the timer on uh, Alex's watch goes off. All right, let's go, let's go. And I uh, rush them into the uh, vault. Uh, I close it. Right. Then as I'm leaving, I, you know, turn up the strength and I start just fucking demolishing shit. <laughs> All right. As the oh, door, wow. Alex helps you close the door, and as it's closing, he tells people inside, isn't, uh, I'm not a crook, this, and then seals it up. Isn't this exactly the situation that uh, Spoonie was talking about? <laughs> well, it starts off that way, yeah. Maybe it'll All end right. better that way. All right, it's Spoonie, sorry. What, what happened? Um, he lost when he tried this, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Don't barricade yourselves inside. Oh, definitely not. No, we're yeah, I'm... kill those people, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start destroying everything that looks viable that isn't jewels. Alright, so, uh, Jean, you see basically Lysia come out, the twins, and then you can still see, like, Joseph inside, like, smashing the place up. Like, just pulling things, like, from their, like, foundations. It's like the Hulk. Alright. And uh, I'll do that for a, a little amount of time until I think things are pretty much significantly destroyed, and then rush out to the car and say, "Let's let's get the fuck out of here." I will begin to drive away. All right, so you start driving off. All right. So um, Joseph never gave us the update from that text, did he? Uh, no. So, I mean, no, where am I driving? Well, he told you where you were going, yeah. He told us we had to drop okay. off the tower, so okay, now you know where to go. Yeah, I'll give, um, I'll give y'all the, uh, give, um, John the address right now. Alright. So, you guys are driving through the city, and, uh, John, as you're going, you can hear something in the distance, and then you can see there are red and blue flashing lights in the rearview mirror. He's coming for us. Um, he's coming right behind you. Other cars are behind on the same road or pulling off to the side. So you need to pull over. It's the Do you law. want to try to pull over? You need to pull over. It's the law. So there's there's sight. There's just a, there's a police car traveling quickly down the road. You just you need to pull over. All right, I'll pull over. All right. So the car rushes right past you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Get back in line. <laughs> Continue on down the road. It's simply somebody going to an emergency. Alright. So. Uh, you guys start heading into the location and you can see uh, that it seems to be uh, like some sort of rail yard. Um, and you guys pull up in a parking lot around the area that the address actually references something actually on the yard that you're going to have to a rail yard. go on to. All right, well, I'll tell John where exactly we need to go to uh, drop the vehicle and the uh, jewels. All right. So the vehicle, you have to just leave in a parking lot. You have to go the rest of the way on foot to get to the drop point for the jewels. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, uh, since I'm probably the strongest, I'll try to get the lion's share of the jewels to take and explain to everybody what we're about to do. I'm just going to leave the car in the parking lot, and we're going to drop the jewels off at a certain location and just follow me. Okay. All right. All right. Drop some jewels. So you guys start trekking into this oh, rail yes. yard. And, uh, Jean, as you're going through this place, you notice that it starts to feel kind of familiar the dream yeah yeah do i realize that in character yes all right well i'm a bit spooked 
Not much I can do about it, though. Okay. So, yeah, you guys head to the uh, location, and once you're inside, you can see that it seems to be like a like a place where they keep trains when they go off the track. Um, and as you're kind of looking around for a place to drop them off, uh, you hear, like, someone... The sounds of movement. Does everybody hear the sounds of movement, or just John? Um, John probably hears it best with the aspects, but anyone, what's the rest of your guys' perception plus alertness? Three. No, four, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you hear it as well. A solid two. Alright. Yeah, everyone hears it. Joseph, are you expecting somebody? Um, I'm not beyond guard. All right. So, uh, all of a sudden, uh, a figure just emerges from the shadows. Jean, you feel a tremendous pain uh, ben behind your uh, right knee as someone kicks you and then forces you onto the ground. It is a horribly disfigured uh, man who is then standing on top of you with his knee basically pressed into your back, holding you down. Uh, other figures start to emerge. One of them uh, emerges holding a gun on Ulysia. And then you hear a, a little stifled cry from the female twin, and you can see that they're wrestling with a big hulking creature. Is this a... Is this a, this a situation where we're going to have to fight our way out, or can we talk to these dudes? Um, they don't seem to be actually, like, killing you, but they have... Obviously, they are holding you here. They're willing to talk, and they've already won the fight. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't killed us outright. So, Joseph, this is your party. Is that something that, uh, by the way, Jean, that you say in character? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I'm too busy wincing from the pain. All right. I, I yell out for them to uh, stop and s well let uh, s ask for it. let's talk about what's going on here. All right. So a figure steps into the yard, and it is a uh, woman, and she says, "You are the one in charge here." I am. All right. She kind of looks at you. Ever so slight eye roll from Lizia. Yeah. All right. And you came here to meet someone? Uh, no, not, not exactly. We came here to drop something off. I see. And what exactly is that? Is there a reason y'all have attacked us? There is a reason, but, but I'm asking the questions here. What exactly are you dropping off? If I might offer a suggestion, Stalworth. I'm listening. You could make it look like you're, you want to give them the jewelry instead of you want to set them up with the jewelry. You mean like act like they are the people that I'm supposed to give the jewelry to? Yeah, yeah, like a delivery or a, an offering or whatever. Hmm. It's a good idea. I can give you this idea. and take out a bunch of nice jewels. Yes. Well, uh, I have come to, uh, deliver these, uh, these tributes, and I pull out, uh, I pull out a um, mini a jewel. Okay. And she says, "And why would I accept tribute from a Saint Castine?" God damn it! <laughs> Lysia gives you a little bit of a whisper. You seriously need to let me fix that. <laughs> I I I look here and I say, I am not the man. Hmm. Interesting. 
she walks forward and says, you understand that you've brought your group uh, to this juncture and that you have caused them to run afoul of the Sabbat Inquisition. I am going to stare at Joseph. <laughs> out, of, out of character, how bad is this? Like, All right. one to ten, how bad is that? Well, Easier let me put it this way. To kill you. you know the Inquisition in real life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that bad. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, so we fuck basically. Right. Yes, we are. All right, Lysia is never trusting you again. Never, never. Hey, why? Am I, why do? Why does Joseph keep getting shit on by everybody? Because <laughs> you're a con. <laughs> but I'm a good person. No, you're not. You're really not. Who took the blame for his girlfriend? It's his girlfriend that's a bad person. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, you murdered a bunch Sire, of people. A <laughs> I had to do it because of her. I'm terrified of her. <laughs> John's like, me too. You murdered a bunch of people. You ended a lot of lives. I'll be... No, I ain't killed nobody. Oh my god, <laughs> we've been over this, Stalwart. You're liable for the deaths in the first game. Oh. Or the second <laughs> game, rather. Anyway. In character, none of this is happening. Mm-hmm. We are, I, Elysia is just staring daggers at you as she said the Inquisition, because, damn it! I assume none of you have had any dealings with Infernalism? And the twins start shaking their heads. Well, there was that one I'll shake my head if I can. Alright. And then somebody saved us. Yeah, dealings in Infernalism. Also, uh, you can uh, bring it up if you want to, but uh, you heard at the time that the guy said he didn't want you to talk about it because there was some ultra-zealous uh, inquisitor in town who would go crazy if she heard about it. Yeah, I was going to say, who was my contact with the... Uh... Uh, Elias the Whale was that guy. Elias the Whale. And he was an Osferatu, right? Yes. Okay. And there was some ultra-zealous inquisitor, which apparently we've just run across. <laughs> yeah. So no to all the infernalism stuff? So, yeah, no. No, we would never. No. No. Not my group. Not these guys. I see. I'm going to need to speak with you privately, and she points to uh, St. Castine. Um, Joseph, rather. Okay. Is my group going to be safe? I don't think we'll need to deal with them just yet. Okay, well, let's let's talk. And so she also says, "You claim to be uh, someone other than Saint Castine, correct?" Correct. I presume you have some sort of identification. Do I? Um, you got like your driver's license. I can, yeah, I'll give her my uh, my license. All right. So she takes it and then says, "Of course, these things can be easily faked." This is, uh, this is, uh, this is, tr this is, uh, this is not fake. <laughs> wow, well told, yeah. <laughs> a real zinger there. Yeah, I put on my, I put on my best charming voice. All right. So she, by this time, the other guys have huddled the rest of the pack kind of into a corner. Kind of like what you guys did with the people in the jewelry store. And she throws your ID over towards that group and then puts her hand on your shoulder and then takes you outside. Uh, what would you like to speak about? Uh, uh, there are a number of things. Firstly, uh, I would like to you to look into my eyes for a moment. So... In Dominate somewhere, if she has a higher level than me, she can just fuck me over if she wants to. Uh, if she has a lower generation than you. So, does it look like she has a lower generation? Um, well, you don't remember whether or not she dominated you, but that in itself is kind of proof that maybe it happened. Uh, oh, sh oh, shit. You just kind of blank out at that point. But, uh, I am going to... Why don't you give me a willpower 
roll. All right. That is five. Okay. So I'm going to send you a secret message. All right. This is turning into an essay. Oh, yeah. I have to tell him just all the ways that he's going to betray you. All right. Excellent. Shut the fuck up. You know, Stalwart, sometimes as a player, it's really hard to pin you down. <laughs> I try to, I try to, I try to look out for people. You try, <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, there was that, there was that one guy in Egypt that I was an asshole with. But hey, remember how Jan? Does, remember uh, Jan. How does saying excellence when hearing about how you're going to betray people <laughs> give the image of someone that looks out for someone? It was, it was just a little joke, man. It's a little joke. Little joke. I really want to be a very uh, upstanding part of this group. Upstand and like how you made me stand up when you grabbed me by the arm and then dragged me out to the car. Well, I mean, we need your expertise. You really didn't. All right. So while this is going on, uh, the rest of you are the re the other four of you are kind of huddled in the corner, and uh, after throwing the. Uh, ID over to you, one of the twins picks it up. And you guys are just kind of sitting there, huddled in the corner. And then the male twin is kind of looking at the ID. He's like, you know, why don't you just... He turns to you, Lizzie. He's like, why don't you just make him look like this again? He, never, he doesn't want me to. That's kind of suspicious, isn't it? You would think he would want to get rid of a traitor's face, but... Unless it's his face. I don't want to start any rumors. But maybe he's St. Castine. Should have killed him when we had the chance. <laughs> posing as St. Castine? Double bluff. Possibly. It's the best plan. He's disguising his identity by not disguising his identity. Do you think St. Castine was... is that brilliant? I think St. Castine might be more than we ever guessed. Possibly. Although he does have a really girly signature. And he's kind of looking at the, the signature on the back of the ID. And, uh... Do, do I see it? Yeah, you do see it, John, and actually, it looks terrifyingly familiar to you. I'll 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 say something. <laughs> say what? I think I've seen that handwriting before. Oh really? Yeah, the words Saint Castine were written like that. Very interesting. Where'd you see it written? Where'd you see it? Here, actually. Here in this train yard? Yeah, in a building. Like this building? Are we in that building right now? Uh, it seems kind of familiar to you, too, actually, yeah. Yeah. I saw all this in my dream last night, and now we're here, and I've never seen this place before, so... More than a dream? Alright, alright, alright. I mean, vampires Lizzie, are real, so magic like, dreams are yeah, probably real. She's got a... You, like, you had a dream and you didn't come tell me? 
Shit. All right. Next time, Lizzie, I'll go straight to you. Al- Alex says, you know, vampires aren't supposed to dream, right? What? Actually, it's true. Most, uh, which is why most vampires been just to come to me because it wasn't a dream; it was a vision. Go completely unconscious, unless I'm specifically oh. mentioning dreams to you. Then all of your sleeps are completely yeah blank. Oh, I'm disgusted. So, um, so out of character, have any of the people I've seen so far resembled the man? Uh, no. I will I will then say, well, Lysia, I can tell you more about it. There was a guy, I'll describe him, and he tried to get me to sign a book. And I managed to not sign a book, but there were a lot of signatures already on it, and one of them was St. Castine in that handwriting. All right, all right, all right. Enigmas, I need a roll. All right. What do I, what do I learn from this? Give me an intelligence plus enigmas. That is five. Um, well, you know it's not good if someone's signing their name in a big black book. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds kind of like Salem. Infernalism. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it might be because okay, all right, <laughs> you're the Inquisition it, is it. here. Lizia is up, and she, oh my god, oh my god, did you sign? I did not sign. It was very hard to not sign, though. So the other thing you Can't know. Casting did sign. The other thing you need to know is you need to be careful about this because, A, once the Inquisition goes off, it just stays going off. And as a cold dune, you're one of the people that it's going to go off on first. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, this is why I'm really not happy about this. All right. Okay. All right. And he is... He could be an infernalist. What exactly is infernalism? Uh, you worship demons and in exchange for power. So you are a servant of the forces of hell. Not you specifically, of course, since you're not an infernalist, but the general you. All right. All I right. see. All right. So what we know from this is that Joseph is St. Christine and, and uh, an infernalist. And all right. So we, one, we need to distance ourselves from, from Joseph as much as possible because obviously infernalist. Secondly, <laughs> how are we going to save ourselves at this point? Do we bust out of here? It's probably not good with the Inquisition. They're going to come after us. They're going to think we're guilty. But if we stay, they're going to think we're guilty and kill us anyway. What do we do? I mean, I don't see a way of getting out of this anyway. All right, all right, all right. Do you really think... We, we may need more help. Do we, do, we, do we tell the bishop? What about, do I have contact info for this Nosferatu guy? Elias the whale, yeah. Do I see him on my phone? Uh, yeah. Can I try and give him a call? Um, not right now. I mean, they're, they can, they'll see you oh, try and make okay. a phone call. We can't call out because of that reason. All right, all right, all right. After a little bit, though, as you're discussing this, uh, the Night Inquisitor uh, comes back in with uh, Joseph and then says, you guys are all free to go for the time being. <laughs> okay. Come on, gang, let's get the hell out of here. I don't go anywhere near him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, one of y'all got my license, too. I need that back. Alex kind of... He looks nervous, and he looks around at the other people, and then you see him kind of put it down on the ground, and then he kicks it over across the ground towards you. Okay. What what What's the issue here? No issue. Did I do, did I do something to offend issue. you? We should leave. There's nothing Let's wrong. Get out of here. Let's just go. Jesus. Alright. I pick up my license, I'll put it in my in my wallet. We've given the jewels to the Inquisition, correct? Master. Um no, they uh have left the jewels there. Okay, well I'm not picking up the jewels. I don't, I want nothing to do with this anymore. <laughs> I am I am I'm walking home. Alright. I All never right. knew you needed jewels to perform fucking 
<laughs> Infernal rituals. John says as he walks by. I do not say that in character. Because he's actually terrified. Uh, Ellen, by the way, uh, you also still have the last part of your mission, which is to destroy the car to remove any evidence. I don't think anyone else got informed of that but you, so far. Uh, well, in that case, can I destroy it by myself? Um, I mean, you could destroy it by hand, although that could take a while. Alright, well, group, we have one last, uh, one last assignment before we, uh, head back to the, um, to the house. We are to destroy this vehicle, destroy any evidence, and, uh, That'll be the mark of a job well done, minus the whole Inquisition thing. Alright. Whatever you say. <laughs> no. Sure, yeah. We will not be party to any infernalist ritual that this person may have planned. No. Infernalist? What is that? And then the twins are kind of both looking nervous, and then they both kind of sidle over behind you, Elysia. I, uh... I look at the twins, and I, I look very hurt. Very saddened by what they're doing. Uh, especially the male twin. And uh, I ask, what's wrong? What did I do? He looks so sad, though. But he is a good actor. Remember? That's true. Pretending to be Joseph when he's really Saint Christine. I told them your secret that you're Saint that they're that you're Saint Castine. Castine, sorry. That but that's not that's not who I am though. I'm sorry, Saint Castine, but we all know the truth now. Alex, why? What what did I do? He, they told me such a scary story. Did they did they Get into your head. You know, you know, I'm not a bad guy. I don't want to think you're a bad guy, but then Alex, just trust me, please John, trust John, me. John started talking about how you wrote your name in blood in a big black book, and how you're talking with weird animals that are your familiar, and that you have a third nipple. Why? Why are you listening to John? John, no. He's smart. Just listen to me. He knows uh, yeah. things. Okay, but... Have you seen Okay, but he's vision. not... He uses computers. John oh. had a vision in which he saw your handwriting in a book. So we basically, <laughs> we basing all this handwriting in a book, therefore I am someone else. Come on. I mean, why will you not let me change your face? I would gladly let you change my face. I want to be Joseph Benessi once again. This face has brought me nothing Wait, but he says, misery. Alex says once again, do you have points in your life you can't remember? What did you and Mercy talk about? I begin um, thinking about what we t uh, talked about uh, and I struggle and I say I, 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 don't, I don't remember exactly. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He's I Joseph and St. Castine. You might have been dominated at some stage or something. I, I'm going to I'm going to listen to the uh, to the rational adults here. <laughs> I'm Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I'm both. <laughs> Wait, is the male twin saying that? <laughs> That's what he said. That's yeah. That's what he's saying. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't think you're right, but I have to take your I have to take your opinion into uh, consideration. Just because it's you. Maybe I am Dr. Jekyll and Mr. I. See, he's alright. He's the good one right now. That's why he's so friendly. Yeah, but we know how that story ends. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> Just kill me before I become a monster. Okay. 
He started. Yeah, 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 right now. Right. his gun. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm not a monster. Oh. Yet. You are a Saint Castine, though. Um, I, I feel like the jury's still out on that. <laughs> this has gone in a direction. It started with definitely no, and now it's become the Lesia? jury's still out. I um look this is this is all great and all but we still have a job to complete. We're we're at the we finish line here. We have a job to complete, Mr. Costine. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yes, ooh. Yes. Hey, last time I checked, so... we robbed that place together. And he's Well, not... that was under Joseph's orders. Now that you're saying Costine, I'm not so sure. Well, if Alex kind of leans in and says, "But he's he's back to Joseph now. He was only Saint Costine for a little bit." All right. That's a little. Right. That's a little bit too Job. much. Job. <laughs> I Job. agree. Lizia's gonna. Lizia's gonna come over, and suggest that. Due to the way the twins are are going right now, it's probably best if we just complete whatever we need to complete. Get back to the Haven. We need to speak with the bishop. Can I just say, Lizia, I'm really sorry I stopped you from killing this guy. What's done is done. Can I hear him? Can I hear him say that? Uh, you don't have aspects. I did what I did. <laughs> it's done. It's done. done what I've done. I am what I am. Alright. 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 Whatever. Just, yeah. Let's, let's stick to the plan then. Okay. I'm so hurt. <laughs> let's just go. So Lizzie and John just start walking off toward the jeep. The male twin is still with you. With me? Where's the... Yeah. So if okay. we're this jeep, do we need to, like, is there some place we can dump it? What if... Well, I don't know. You'll have to, what do you want to do? I don't know. How would you destroy a car? Dump it in the lake. That'll get rid of any, I mean, not that we leave physical evidence, but. Mm -hmm. uh... Well, Joseph's the one in charge, as you guys are all back in the car now. So, possibly. Well, um. Cover the VIN number and scratch out the VIN number and take out the plates. Yes, uh, we can also, um, after doing that, we can also, uh, try to get some ammonia or bleach, douse it down with that, so there won't be any, uh... Well, maybe there's human, but they wouldn't point to us. I mean, we don't leave any hair follicles or skin oils or anything. True. Okay. Alright, well... In that case, yeah, just serial numbers, anything like that, we can uh, scratch off, destroy. Uh, is there a part of Montreal we can leave it where we know it's going to be stripped in minutes? Um, not really. Okay. So you plan on dumping it in the river then? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys are getting into the car, uh, Alex kind of steps forward and says, it's a little awkward to say since we're good friends. But maybe all of us would feel more comfortable if Jean were the one doing the driving. I uh, look at Alex, um, a bit of a, a bit of a tear in my eye, and <laughs> I say, okay. All right. Oh, he's a good actor for this Saint Castine. Once you're in the backseat with him, uh, Alex will basically put his arm around you and hold you close to him. And I'll say, don't worry, if you start to turn to St. Castine again, I won't let you. And I, I look up and say, thank you very much. You, you, you and, uh, do they know about Madison? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay, uh, you and, you and Madison are all I have now. And, uh, <laughs> and a few other people, actually. You're a demon fiends that you worship. And that's one of the nicest things <laughs> anyone's ever said, except for a couple of other things. <laughs> other people have said. come back. <laughs> Our friendship will get us through this. Because there's nothing stronger than the power of friendship. <laughs> except for a few other things. <laughs> Unfortunately, demons are one of them. Yes. Titanium. <laughs> <laughs> He's so smart. That's why I thought the dream must well, mean something. It, it Thanks, Alex. Mean something. I may have Thanks, Lizia. 
Go out and get some thanks. <laughs> you guys drive to the river. Yeah, in silence. <laughs> ways in silence. Uh, you guys kind of head out of the city, find a place where you can park, and then with your strength, there's no problem pushing it off Seriously. into the water. As a team building exercise, this is awful because we got nothing for all of that jewelry. I mean, supposedly we were going to add to the assets of the pack. Yeah. Well, we just left it there in the train house. <laughs> this is a disaster from a corporate team building point of view. Yeah. Well, uh, before we all uh, go our separate ways to meet back at the uh, house. <laughs> go our separate ways to the same place. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, why are we why are we splitting up? What do you it's mean? John, John, just go with it. Just go with it. Lizzie yeah, will just put a hand on your just let's just get through this. Well, we, okay. we could also walk together. I, I mean, I just, you know, the way y'all have been talking to me. Okay. So anyway, uh, move on. Well, that that was a good mission, everyone. Uh I had to give uh, everyone a walk, walk away. Yeah, they're backing away. Elysia <laughs> is backing away, as he's saying. I'm, I'm sticking What's with the this. distrust? It's... I'm me. I'm John uh, Joseph. Yes. Alex you can't even Alex remember your own name. Alex kind of looks over at you, Lizia, and then kind of puts a hand on your arm. He's like, he's right. He is Joseph right now. Yes, but when will he change? I think it's best that we just call it a night and get back to the Haven as quickly as possible. We've had enough adventure. Okay. All right. So um, the female twin will kind of stick by you, uh, Joseph. The male twin will go off with Lysia. Jean, what are you doing? I'm going with Lysia. All right. As you guys start to walk away, Alex kind of turns around and says, um, "John, I I'm not sure how to how to put this. Um, my sister would like to walk with you." What? She wants to have a chance to speak with you in private. Why? It's about feelings. Lysia is walking faster. <laughs> wait up, Lysia! Lysia, wait up! <laughs> wait up, Lysia! I would like to speak with you in private. Very well. So, you know. It's very rude to keep a woman waiting. Sure. All right. Well, good luck there, sport. And as he kind of, kind of turns you around to point you in the direction of his sister and then slaps you on the ass. Not sexual harassment of the workplace. Are you going to take it? Lysia's probably the closest <laughs> thing to an HR. <laughs> That's true. I'll, I'll report you to Lysia later. All right. So Alex runs to catch up with you, Lysia, and once you guys are kind of alone, he starts to talk to you. He says, I have just been thinking of something absolutely terrifying, and I don't know who to trust with it, except for, obviously, the priest. Okay. I, you know... Are you okay with me confiding in you, Father? Of course. That's what I'm here for. Well. I started wondering. And then I realized that obviously we're going to need to kill Joseph. But then I started to think, what are we basing this on? A dream. Now, obviously, dreams tell the future. We both know that. Yes. But this was Jean. How do we know the dream was real and Jean isn't Saint Castine? If people have been switching identities, then Saint Castine could have made Joseph look like him and then he could have looked like Jean. Jean could be... I, I don't know. More importantly, how do we know Jean was telling the truth that he didn't sign the book? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there could be any number of them. There could be. We'll have to be watchful. We don't want to 
play our hand too quickly. So let's keep it close to the vest. All right. The only ones that we can trust are you and us. True. So what about the bishop and Hassan, do you think? Ah, uh, Hassan, if anyone's St. Castine, it's probably Hassan, so I don't think we should trust him. The... I can see better. Okay. I'm not sure about the bishop. His hands are black, but I don't know what that means. Have I heard any black hand play in my life? Um, no. No? Yes? No? You know the black hand is an organization, although... What, if that's what hands are black means, that's not necessarily a connection you would instantly make. Okay, though. No. All right. So, uh, Jean, what do you do after, uh, basically the male twin tells you to fuck off and runs to catch up with Lysia? Uh, well, you said the female twin was with, um, Joseph, right? Yeah, she's waiting back with Joseph, kind of hanging back a little bit. I mean, I could just start walking to the Haven on my own. All right. Although, hmm. Well, everyone hates Joseph right now, so I suppose I don't feel like leaving him with anyone on his own. It's true. It's true. I'll join the pair of them then. All right. So, uh, the female twin, Sam, will basically latch onto your arm and walk with you the whole way, although she does kind of slow up to stay with Joseph walking back to the Haven. Sure. Whatever. I'll just make sure both of them follow me to the haven then. So, as you're walking, um, she kind of says to you, is there a way to erase a name from the book? Uh, in the dream, Zach, how was it? What was it written in blood? Uh, it was kind of that sort of reddish brown, yeah. Spit usually cleans up blood, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, there's also certain kinds of detergents. All right, well, there you go. We've got some options then. Joseph, you should get some detergent. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we get the detergent into John's dream? Maybe make him eat it. What? <laughs> I mean, it's for Joseph. And she puts a hand on your chest. He's family. He's fam Listen, alright, I'll have a think about it, but that's about it. Okay. Then she turns back to Joseph, she says, he'll think about eating the detergent. Um, thank you very much for considering it. <laughs> so you don't yeah, why don't I just drink some bleach while I'm out here? It's true. Just drink some bleach as well, get it all over with, yeah? <laughs> None of this will be my problem anymore. Just, well, it won't do anything to you. It'll just be bleach sitting in your stomach. What if I uh, feed bleach to a mortal and then drink that blood? It still won't do anything. <laughs> then then it works like bleach for a vampire. Because it's like a drug, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you guys ever get high on bleach? All right. Anyway. Right. So yeah, you guys eventually all make it back to the Haven. What do you guys do when you get back? Well, I want to know exactly when the bishop is going to be available. Mm-hmm. Um, he and Hassan are going to be busy for some time. And okay. they've actually left the Haven together. All right, well, I'm going to go into the library then, and I'm going to contemplate uh, Jean's dream, just trying to figure out a little more. I mean, obviously, obviously, the Infernalists are calling to John as well. And well, I, I will tell word, you. Like, she doesn't question the dream. <laughs> That's, that happened. Easier. That's not, proof. The dream happened. That's fine. 
Um, <laughs> but what did she's questioning he is, did, did John write in the book? Because there's no question infernalism is happening here, and obviously it's starting to infect my pack. Mm -hmm. and, and something must be done. Yeah. So, well, yeah. surely I wouldn't have told you about me having to resist if I wanted you to believe that I didn't write in it. Or you're just very clever. Nah. <laughs> Come on. He's so smart! You know, infernalists are clever. Alright, so I may need to go on a vision quest. You gonna prepare a vision quest? Yes, because I, I need some okay. answers here. So do you need any pack member's assistance with that? Well, let me grab my book and see All what right. my vision quest is. Go on to them and I'll let you know. So once you get back, uh, the male twin, Alex... Uh, kind of stops you, Jean, and kind of takes you aside to speak with you privately for a moment. All right. He says, you know, I know that you're not, you know, bad. I know that you didn't sign any book. Okay. I trust you implicitly, Jean, and that's why I know that we need your help. Okay. That guy, Joseph or St. Cassine or whoever, he could go back and forth at any time. We need someone watching him who will know. Okay. So what I'm thinking is maybe you keep an eye on Joseph. You know, he goes in to work out. You're like, oh, man, I think I'll go in and have a workout here in the gym. You know, he goes to the rumpus room and you're like, hey, I want to have sex with you. You know, he goes in the bathroom, you're like, hey, what you doing, pal? Just washing my hands. Subtly. Subtle. The way I described it, it wasn't subtle, because I'm trying to explain it to you, but when you do it, you should be subtle. Uh, alright, yeah, thanks for explaining it. Easy. What I'm saying is, just act like you're his best friend. Sure. And then, if you see him switch, start screaming. Do you want to make a code word, or what? Yeah, we should come up with a code word. Um, hmm. Bagel. That's a good one. Very Jewish, I like it. Alright, good man. Alright. Good team. So if I need to say something to let you know there's something going on, I'll say bagel. And then you'll know that we should... You know, it's about this. This is our secret word. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright, so it says I need to fast, but I don't have a lot of time. So I'm wondering, do I just drain myself down to a single point of blood? Keep myself from torpor? You could do that. And then whip myself or whatever to get into my... State? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, so I'll go into the garden... Put the do not disturb sign up. And prepare myself. Alright. So I'm going to raise all my little blood points here. So. <laughs> so when all, it all goes down, I have no blood points. Alright. Just so you know. So, uh, Joseph, what do you do when you get back? I uh, made it back. Yep. Yes, you did. Nobody killed you. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> well, I suppose first things first, mm -hmm. I will see Lysia Lissi about uh, getting my face changed back to being good old me again. All right. So he finds you as you're making your preparations. You're not... My preparations before I go. Are you, how are you planning on getting the blood out of you? Are you just going to spend it, or are you going to do something else? Are you going to give it to someone? Or... Um, well, I suppose there are anybody around like getting <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Not gonna make him stronger. Uh, the no. twins will take it. Okay. They may. They may. Drink. I like to be stronger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you come in into the meditation garden, and you can see both <clears throat> of the twins are feeding on each of uh, Lysia's wrists. One second. So All right. I see this. Not. Uh, I mean, it's a. Hey. Can I, can I, let me get in on that. <laughs> no! I look very sad. 
I look at uh, Lysia and say, but why not? Because I did not ask you. Okay. And I well, just am um, out of character. Next time, Jean's always willing to get guilt free blood points as well. <laughs> I was going to say, I would have come if you were around the twins when I said, you know, what I was going to do. Alright, yeah, if I'm you actually on a offer. Request, I need to be drained down. Yeah. All right. If you want to offer, yeah, Jean will. So Jean will accept. How many? How many do you have? How many blood um, points oh, did you have I before racing? Seven. I erased seven of them. Okay. So then the twins will each take two, so that they're even. And Jean, you can take three blood. All right. Cool. And of course, you should adjust your vinculum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trusting you more and more. Because yeah, I'm beginning to like you of all of our people. I keep changing my mind no. about who's the least bad in the group. <laughs> John's best friend like changes every episode. I'm conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did you actually tell them what it was about? Um, I would say that I need to obviously seek guidance. And so, that's what I would tell you. I don't know if you know exactly what that means, but I must seek guidance from Kane. I think it's pretty obvious you're freaking out over the dream anyway. Alright. Well, and the Inquisition? And the fact that we may yeah. have an Infernalist in our pack? Yes, as priests, I find that important. Anyway. You didn't say it was bad freaking out. You didn't say it was freaking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sensible. <laughs> There's only one thing we have left to do. Panic! <laughs> it to be paranoid. <laughs> Alright. Say an emergency, don't panic, but if I'm about to die, that's my prerogative. <laughs> I didn't want to get panicked. Alright, so. Anyway, so yeah, so Joseph, you come in and I'm being drained by three of your pack mates and I just refused you, so. Well, now in a very depressed tone, I, uh, I'll ask, uh, sometime in the future, I mean, you don't, you don't have to say yes, of course you don't have to say yes, but sometime in the future, I would very much appreciate if, uh, if you would change my face back to back to regular Joseph, please. He looks so sad. I just it's so confusing because John is so smart and then Joseph is so sad. <laughs> How can they both be true? <laughs> she just pats me. <laughs> That's all she's doing. Um, so now you wish to have the face of Joseph. Yeah, yes, yes, my, my true face. It's just awkward how long it's taken. I mean, you could have done this at any time, but it's only now that we're confronting you that suddenly it seems to be a priority. Uh, yes, I, um, I have uh, taken a while. I've had a lot on my mind with the various changes that have gone on you know our, our first meeting was a bit rocky so changes it's like physical changes no no just environmental changes you know uh originally getting attacked and then having my arms and legs melded into my own flesh you that know sounds that sounds like a physical change okay that that was a physical change <laughs> brought brought on by y'all <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will repeat once again that I must seek guidance on this. And that after I have received possibly possibly at that point I will know what to do and we will know whether it is best to change Joseph's or uh, St. Castine's face back or not. And then Alex says, "Well, St. Castine, can't you just use vicissitude?" I look at, uh, you said I can't lie? <laughs> uh, you can lie, yes. Okay, well, I look at, uh, Alex and I say I, I do not have that, uh, power. <laughs> Apparently that's a lie. <laughs> well, yeah, right. just, Allegedly. 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 Says, oh, because if you, then you could just change it yourself. 
I'll look at John. I'll look at Joe. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting Terry there. Maybe Jean could switch him back for you. I don't know if this is the Jude. Oh, that's right. We're still pretending like you don't. Yeah. That's what Alex says. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you'll just have to wait for Elysia to finish then. Yeah, here, come on. No spoilers, yeah? shot to John. It might be some good practice. <laughs> I do not have vicissitude. <laughs> Meanwhile, That's very Hassan, interesting. One of you. Hassan is just gonna come back and his face is gonna be completely different. He's like, I have changed. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of you to start showing, you know, some aptitude. Alright. I'm happy to share. Anyway. Anyway, so I'm on my vision quest. Okay? Yeah, so they, once they, they take the blood, everyone files themselves out. Okay. I'm chanting and dancing and... Yeah. Doing whatever I need to do. All right. Uh, I, one of the twins will come back with a little uh, cooler with, like, some Vitae in it. So, presuming once you come out of... Yes. <laughs> and like, you're going to be hungry. That's very considerate. Yeah, that was the female twin. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to do with the evening? So here's my question. If our vinculum rating, is it to the female and the male twin, or is it to their personalities? So when they swap... It is to the actual physical body. Okay. So whether it's Sam or whether it's Alex in that body, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's that body. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to clear that up in my head. Yeah, that's why I have it as male twin, female twin. Okay. All right. So yeah, what are you two doing? Staring at each other warily down the hallway. Across uh, the table, something. Did, did the twins fuck off? Uh, yeah, they went off to the rumpus oh, the room. Rumpus room. So, of course they went there. <laughs> In case you wanted to go You can go movie. there too. Well, Joseph, what are you doing with yourself? Um, suddenly be your pal. <laughs> I'm going to. Well, I just had the rest of the night free. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, I would like to go check up on my uh, girlfriend. Well, you can't leave on your own. Well, I look at you, John. <laughs> and I ask if you want to go on another fun trip. Absolutely not. Please. If you, visit, if you want to visit your girlfriend, fine. I'll just accompany you there. But just don't do anything else. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine with me. Do you want Whatever. to visit your own girlfriend or your wife at the same time? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> he already knows where she lives. Well, let's head out, friend. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking him next All right. to you, buddy. So you guys get out. You check out the car. Dear God above, I'm so glad Lizzie does not know this is happening. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I assume you guys are uh, put away all of your guns back in the armory. Well, I'm not leaving without mine. All right, you're taking, the... taking your yeah. regular handgun with you? Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I'll I'll bring mine also. <laughs> so I want to gauge from this visit how much she actually likes Joseph coming because the only reason I'm coming with him on this is because I figure maybe she'll get pissed off with me if I don't let him see her. Mm -hmm. And then so kill your gauge. wife. Yeah, exactly. So I want to gauge how true that actually is. All right. So, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm terrified. Because if I don't, she'll kill my wife. <laughs> yep, <Jesus>. exactly. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's that's got to be a lot of stress. <laughs> Joseph's psycho girlfriend is going to kill his wife. 
All right. Yeah, so you guys go out to the house, and uh, there it is. It's still like normal, and uh, as you guys head up, um, and you can ring the doorbell if you want to. It looks like there are lights on inside. All right, I uh, go and ring the doorbell. Okay. After a little bit, uh, Madison opens the door, and she immediately, you know, throws her arms around you and kisses you. And then she kind of looks behind you and says, why is Jean here? Um, I, I say because he is a friend. And also, I, uh, we need to, when we leave the uh, house, we must leave with another person. I'll gladly just stay outside and keep the car running. <laughs> well, you don't need to do that. That would look kind of suspicious, probably. I'll stay out of your way anyway. All right. She kind of warily brings you inside, sits you down in kind of like the living room, and then just kind of throws the TV remote to you. And then she returns to you, uh, Joseph, and takes you by the hand and starts leading you into the bedroom. I uh, follow her in. All right. <coughs> so yeah, she uh, once you're inside, obviously, she starts to undress. I, uh, do the same. Alright. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as they're getting undressed, Sean, what are you doing? Turning up the TV. Really Watching the TV. <laughs> Is there anything particular you want to switch it to, or? Sure. Uh, porn? actually, yeah, the news. Alright. So, yeah, you switch over to the news, and it's a, uh, breaking news report um, there was a major robbery at a jewelry store, and they are police are basically in the process of trying to blowtorch their way through a vault um, because there are people trapped inside, and um, something's wrong with like the ventilation system. They're not getting enough air, so they're all basically in danger right now. Oh my god, it's because I turned the power off. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... They have not been getting any responses from the people inside. Um, they did... You can see that they the power seems to be on, so they may have set up some sort of generator there. Um, so they're I mean, all I did power. was flick a switch. Can't they just flick the switch back yeah, on? Uh, they turned it back on, but once they got there... Oh, God. All right. But the ventilation system needs to be reset from I'll the begin computer. trying to switch <laughs> to <laughs> while I watch this news report. All right, so you continue to watch it. Um, you hear the sounds of sexual activity from the back room. And just a lot of noise back there. Turn it up a little bit more. And, uh... He appears to be a screamer. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Or he is. No, or he is. Ah! <laughs> 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 Deep guttural sounds. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as you're watching, they eventually, the news crews are there as they finally cut through the vault, and they rush in, and they start bringing out, uh, people, and they are alive. They all are looking kind of basically terrified, you know, traumatized, and they're bringing them, they have, like, kind of, they look kind of the worse for wear. They're putting, like, oxygen masks on them and things like that, and escorting them out, and the news caster is like, well, it looks like there is a happy end to this story. Uh, but who exactly robbed this store is still unknown, although the police are searching for their identities. This could easily have turned into a multiple homicide. multiple homicide, so the police are definitely going to be putting every resource they can into finding the people responsible before they strike again. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> he says as he's <laughs> having he sex. Says. Also, uh, during <laughs> during the process of your dirty talking, uh, Madison also kind of tells you that it's it's been a while since you last uh, gave her, you know. Vite. Vite. Oh well, feel free. All right. So she uh, cuts open your wrist and takes a blood point from you in the midst of your lovemaking. I'm very giving. 
So take off a blood point, and then we'll actually take off two blood points. Because you had to prepare yourself. You had to emulate human physiology. And, uh, yeah, once you guys are finished, she takes you back outside. All right, well, I'm going to have a, uh, after, you know, I'm going to have a little talk and talk. ask her to, uh, well, what's the, what's the beef between her and, uh, and David's, I mean, uh, John's, uh. Well, I don't think John ever told you that there was a problem in character. No, I did not. Although you did say they seemed kind of cold towards one another. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll ask what's that all about. Like, uh, uh, you're usually pretty friendly with people. Uh, you seem, uh, a little distant around her. Some, some, some wrong? I mean, he's one of them. I know you're all right, Joseph. But, uh, frankly, I don't trust any other member of the Sabbat. They don't, uh, see humans really the way other humans do or the way you do. I think Jean is... I, thought <laughs> I think Jean may be some sort of threat. I just wanted to make sure that he's not going to try anything violent. Well, after, after hearing that explanation, I, uh, I hug her, I tell her, I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> you were, you were, you did, you know, you were doing your job, but I can tell you from experience, uh, John is, uh, he's trustworthy. Uh, that being said, um, him, him and his, uh, wife, they're trustworthy. That being said, you, uh, you, you're doing the right thing. We, we live in a world now that we have to constantly watch our backs, so. I understand what you're doing, but you don't have to worry about them. I want you to, uh, I want you to try to make nice. Of course, if that's what you want. Um, if he does try anything, though, his wife's his weakness. Go after the wife. Yes, but, uh, keep in mind, <laughs> uh, <laughs> keep in mind, um, you're also my weakness, so. Please don't, don't, don't do anything that, uh, would cause him to possibly try to attack you. I'm just saying, I'm not going to try anything. If you want me to be nice to him, I'll be nice to him. But if something happens to me, she's the one you need to get. Oh, well, yes, if something happens to you, yes. If, you know, <laughs> the kid gloves are off. <laughs> okay. I know you'll always look after me. Oh my god. Of course. Never this much trouble for Steven. <laughs> well, Terry was a man. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so, she says, I can also take care of myself. This is very true. And uh, that's one of the things I like about you. All right. Does he know about... Um, you know, Your infernalism? The, uh, deceased? The deceased? Who, who, who's the deceased? You know, our deceased one? Is she talking about the person she killed? <laughs> yes. Oh! Although she's, um, uh, uh, the way she's phrasing it, it's more like the person you, you both, both killed. killed. <laughs> Well, I suppose we both did have a hand in that, technically. <laughs> quote, unquote. <laughs> Even though I didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> well, it seems like you're really bad at telling when you killed someone. I, we, we will sit down. And I'll, I'll tell her, this is a good time, good as time as any to set the record straight. Hold up. One thing, though. <laughs> They, they, the way they talk to me, they make it seem like I've killed a whole bunch of people. I don't remember killing a whole bunch of people. <laughs> well. Are you talking as a player right now? Oh, no, no, I'm talking out of character. Okay. All right. 
I, I think it's just the fact that, one, the twins are going around telling everybody that you killed a bunch of people. <laughs> There's that. Um, no. uh, you know, you so you're talking you out of character, Star Wars. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm talking okay. out of character. Week two of this chronicle, we <laughs> had to kidnap a bunch of guys, remember? Yes. Oh! Okay. Remember, remember the blood how beast? easily you kidnapped three people... And also knocked out those other tree people, which makes for a total of six. Okay. <laughs> okay. At the time, though. <laughs> I, uh... No. Oh. I didn't know that- I didn't know that it was gonna be like that. Uh, I was- oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so you thought I was yeah, being so all hesitant. You. you brought in a whole bunch of people for the blood. Remember piece. when you oh. instantly said, so I gotta kill seven people and we're just yeah. a-okay so, with that? you know, our- our perception of you is, you know, yeah, you kill people. Lizia doesn't care that you've killed people, that's fine. John obviously has a problem with Look, I'll, uh... Ah. I'm how mu that how you're an infernalist. That's my beef. Anyway. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> what if he killed uh, people to worship the demons? Then that's that, bad. What if it sacrifices? That's, no, that's, it's not okay then. And now I'm beginning to wonder if <laughs> some of those murders weren't actually sacrifices. No. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I want to get this all out in the open, but uh, mm -hmm. how much would that affect my relationship with her if I told her that uh, we were sent out to kidnap some people? At the time, I didn't know what was going to happen to them. I wasn't told. Um, You probably don't want to mention that. Okay, you cool, yeah. react negatively to it. Yeah, that's just going to be something I keep under wraps then. Yep. Although she's uh, bloodbound to you, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to have her be bloodbound to me, but low key hate me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, just gonna, just gonna try not to kill people or lead to people's deaths anymore. All right. And uh, you know, but I will sit down with uh, John, and you know, him, me, Madison. I'll try to explain. Uh, what happened with the uh with the death before I turned into a uh, vampire? Try to get that out in the open. So if you uh, tell Madison you're going to do that, she says, "I don't think that's a good idea." All right, why not? Oh, I just don't know. I don't trust Jean. I don't know what he's going to try and do. My concern is that he's going to take the information and then try and use it. Uh, against me so that you don't know that he's responsible when something happens like information just gets past the police and then you know you don't know that it's him mm. and then you won't know that you're supposed to kill his wife mm. you bring up a good point mm. well he would just get away with it well, in that case, uh, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, you know, you've uh, you can you've you've handled yourself well in the past, so I'll trust your judgment on this. Uh, but uh, we will have to get to a point. John is one of the good ones. You know, we're gonna get have to get to a point where uh, we have some type of mutual trust. All right, I'll try. All right. Well, so it's been great. Anything else you need to tell me? No, I don't think so. Although, um, I could use some more money for, like, uh, you know, supplies and things. Food and stuff like that. Uh, out of character. Do I have any type of money? Uh, you don't, but you know that John does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do I have any money, like, at home? No. Why, what's your resources? Time. Fuck. Uh, let me see. And John's resources. You are such like you're a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, no resources. All right, then you have absolutely no money. It's Shit. all on John. So you are just you're that guy. You're that guy. That, you know, <laughs> you 
You just had to out. I told her, I'm not going to kill your wife unless it's necessary. Give me my money. <laughs> You went on a really well, bad mission, got us captured by Guys, mission. you gotta give her some cash. <laughs> she could go crazy. And she knows where your wife lives. Uh, I'm going to uh, you know, ask uh, my friend John uh, <laughs> if he can let me uh, borrow a few dollars for uh, Madison. And I'll, I'll be sure to pay him back. And I'll actually pay him back. Cash. I don't have any cash on me. You should probably get something out of the communal funds. Just tell them it's for the second haven. I'm sure it'll be fine. That'll work. Good, good idea. Yeah, good idea. So as Madison is, like, coming out, you know, Joseph came out first to talk to you about that, and she's coming out later. Um, and she looks at the news and says, Oh, man, I heard about that on the radio a little while ago. And she points at, you know, the news stories. They're pulling people out of the... Uh, jewelry store yeah um it's real lucky that uh nobody got uh hurt or injured the people who uh robbed the store must be very considerate <laughs> the most suspicious thing someone has ever said <laughs> <laughs> and handsome yeah i bet they were very handsome too Okay. Um, and tell me she at least looks at yeah, him. Yeah, she does give him a look. What? She doesn't actually jump to saying, oh, uh, you've robbed someone. But no, but uh, considering it's okay. not usually the word you use. Yeah, I guess they were. As considerate as people can be when they're stealing from you. Well, yes, you 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 know my, uh, my past and such matters, so, you know, I have a... Uh, I know how things can uh, go down in a very violent way. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> she says, we'll talk, not, you know, she kind of motions towards John sitting there watching this. <laughs> not, yeah, I know. All right, well, <laughs> uh, all right, good talk. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and get going, then. It's right. great seeing you. Yeah, it was nice seeing you too. And she goes up and kisses you, and escorts you guys out of the uh, house. Well, thank you, John, for uh, for coming with me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Just one more answer from here on. John's dead straight ahead. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Sure. All right. <laughs> so you guys head back to the Haven, and it's basically around dawn at this point. So I think we will end the session here. Okay. So uh, it's going to be the next day, so everyone takes off a blood point. You're going to wake up basically in frenzy um, as part of your vision quest. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so who won the Experience Point Award the last time? Me, I think. All right. So, David, who are you voting for this time around? <laughs> for folks to say. <laughs> uh, hmm, uh, you know, I liked Mary's freak out on the <laughs> dream thing. All right. Her character shines there, so yeah, I give it to her. So let's talk about what we learned today. We'll start oh, with Joseph. God. What did Joseph learn? Um, or Saint I learned, Castine. I learned a few things. Um, <laughs> I learned about uh, infernalism. I uh, I learned how to how to properly lead a uh, group. You know, <laughs> planning details, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, the best leading we had. Yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's about it. All right. I love the mission that Joseph goes on, where his entire team now suspects him. <laughs> <laughs> Good team building. Anyway, alright. Yeah, but everyone besides him got closer together <laughs> out of mutual yeah, fear. Pretty much. <laughs> like, Lysia and Jean, you never thought they would have gotten together, but, but they have yeah, now. Yeah, I'm like... 
Yep. <laughs> Lizzie, you never thought it'd be Lizzie is the only one I can trust. <laughs> well, now she is. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yep. And uh, on that note, let's move over to Lizzie. What did Lizzie learn? Oh my goodness, I learned so many things. I learned that both Jean and Joe might be infertilists. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that uh, very much possibility that Joseph is actually Saint Castillon. All right. Um, I learned, I met the, uh, crazy Inquisitor person that that Enoch the Whale guy or whatever All right. it was told me about. So, you pick up four experience points, Joseph gets three, and Jean. What did Jean learn? Uh, can I say Jean learned that the twins are shysters? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, well where, how did you came, how did you, if you explain how you came to that? belief then yeah well I don't know that you figured out that they're shy so I've right. only got my perspective yes exactly so basically <laughs> I noticed Alex when he was the female when they were the female and the male mm -hmm. they used the phrase I don't want to cause any rumors but yeah a lot yeah. well he um, only used it once with you no, no, Alex the female he used it. Oh, that's they true, they did do it later. Joseph. But was he there for that, or was that when he was just with you later on, after he'd walked away? I think that was just with Lysia. Well, but I know, but I know uh, so, twice so in the, Alex, watching the movie. I, I do yeah. remember her. The female Alex like, I don't want to start any rumors, but Joseph's a murderer. Yeah. Right. And then male Alex was like, I don't want to start any rumors, but it looks like this guy's St. Castine. Yeah, when well, we were all huddled together. All right. And he's like, "Hey, you better, you better be spying on this guy twenty four seven. I don't trust him, you know." Yeah. But then yeah. in front, in front of Saint Castine, he's like, "No, no, he's all right. He's all right." But then at the same time, you weren't necessarily confronting uh, Saint Castine. Either. Yeah, you weren't confronting him either, and he's been, <laughs> as far as you know, he's right about both I of those totally things. Totally have. What do you mean? I've been totally upset with him, like. I mean, you've been upset with him, but you weren't exactly confronting him. I told him. him to his face. I think you're saying Custy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give what it to you. What do you I'll want? Give... I mean, like, I I didn't even like you guys were joking about it, but I didn't act as if I was his friend when I followed him to his girlfriend. I was like, yeah, okay, fine. All right. All right, I'll take it. He's in his passive aggressive way. He's We're still friends though. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, the alpha male is like, "No, we're in, I'm entitled to your friendship. You give me your friendship." John the beta male is like, "Fine, but I'll get even in another way." <laughs> hmm? I I get what? What? I'll get even in another way. I think I think we can be a Me and John, we were destined to be friends. Joe has shown ownership by putting his arm, like, across uh, the you know. Right now, John is thinking, Madison's his weakness. I'm going to yeah. go after her <laughs> to protect my yeah. wife. He's got his hand on the back of John's seat, going, yeah, yeah, we're friends. I, I, I'll tell him, you know, at some point, soon. I'll tell him, you know, I've talked to Madison, and his wife is in no danger. Unless something happens to that, me. That, that, you know, we can handle this on the drive back if yeah, you want to run that say. scene. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, so you're driving back, and how do you bring it up? Uh, I'll just say, hey, you know, I know lately there's been some, uh, there's been some discord in the group, uh, and with the, uh, with my identity. Um, I also know there's been some discord with, uh, there's been some uh, discord with uh, between your wife and my girlfriend, um, but I just want to let you know I talked to I talked to her about that, um, so everything should be should be pretty smooth. You don't got to worry about your wife, man. I know uh, I know how much these relationships mean to to the both of us. So you know I wouldn't want you to have to consistently worry about that, man. I will pretend. <laughs> to care about what he has to say. So I'll be like, okay, that's good to hear. Thanks. And inside, I'm like, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Murder. 
And I, I, I'm gonna go see Haru with Lizia next. <laughs> that'll and be I, good. Yeah, that'll be fun. I have a huge smile on my face, thinking that uh, everything's cool between us. <laughs> <laughs> the man with no dots and empathy, who doesn't understand how other fun. people if feel. You do, if you do, David, if you do go uh, meet your wife with Lizia, she's gonna recognize her. It's You've already seen it's me true. with her. Have you? Yeah, you did. Uh, you that? and Hassan were in the car. That's true. Yeah, you did see him in the car. When they dropped off. When she oh. dropped him off. But I mean, when I... I was gonna say, but I know, but I know like, where your art thing is. So yeah, you already know where the art gallery me, is. If you take me with you, I'm gonna be like, yeah, oh, okay, I remember this. I'll just go in here and run. <laughs> I like this painting here. <laughs> This is where I had sex with your yeah, sire. Yeah, I was going to say, this is where I had sex with your sire. Ah, oh, so yeah, that's true. true. So anyway, so it'll be a revealing, uh... <laughs> you'll have some, you'll have a built-in, what did you learn today? <laughs> yeah. It'll be like, because Lacey's just going to start talking to you about it. All right. Sure. So I'm going to end the uh, session there. All right. And uh, we will see you guys next time. See y'all. Bye-bye.